Yeah, and I was telling Toph that I was worried that it was my fault because maybe I'm being lustful and, and giving him the wrong impression because I'm the reason he's acting the way he is. Because that's what Prince Redford told me. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, no. You have done nothing to tell him that. Yeah, the only times I've ever interacted with him is when I was with you, so I guess you would know. Yes. The, the only time that I wasn't there, that you did have an inter interaction that I don't know about was when he had you kiss him to heal him. That And that w is something you shouldn't do. Yeah, Ramses got mad at me and told me I shouldn't kiss somebody like that. And that he was taking advantage of me. Why? Yes, he was. You should uh, only I kiss probably... the ones you want to kiss, not because someone asked you to. <clears throat> well, he was dying. and so? I well, I had to help him, and he said that the only way that I could help him was to trade. To trade? Yeah. And in this case, the trade was a kiss, and I felt like, well, that's so minor. And that it didn't matter to me, considering that I was trying to save a life. Mm. Listen, when you make bargains, make sure it's in your favor. And don't ever give anything to anyone just because they want it or think they need it. Let him die. He's That's what Ramsey said. Not valuable he's been... enough. And if he's desperate enough, I mean, he... Um. he... Yeah. Hello, Poppy. Hello. But as, as a healer, do what you believe is necessary to heal the individual. Don't do what they think you need to do to heal them. If he, he was really he dying, heal him at all. if he was really dying, then he should not probably have been able to argue with you at all or instruct you. He took advantage of you. He cheated you. Yeah, that's what people are telling me. Are you sure you don't want to come live here? That's what I was saying. Well, Riker doesn't live in my house. Nobody's there ninety percent of the time. Oh, is yeah, Riker done something too? That's the one that. That's yeah. The trade with me. Oh yeah, no, Raka doesn't live here. The other one just keeps telling her that she's the reason why men are lusting after her. That yeah. it's her fault. No, that's that's not true. I'm sorry, you're not in control of other people's feelings, and if you are, you're in control of them and you own them. If they can't take care of themselves, then clearly they're not worthy of being like a whole person, and they need a leash. Yeah, Toph said he was grooming me. You should come live in a house with people of your own kind. Oh look, an open house that you can live yeah, in. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> look at that, so convenient. <laughs> There's actually two over there that are open. I'm perfectly is honest. There? Yeah, the Aquilonian is open as well as Kivas. Kivas is the one in the back, right? Kivas is the one you can barely see all the way back there. Yeah, the really dark purple one. Yeah. The one that I actually really like. Well, I'm sorry that... <laughs> Listen, that's... <laughs> that came out so <laughs> Listen, I understand dwarven construction and goblin construction are not the same thing, but you didn't have to show your preferences so blatantly. It, it was it was more a reference to the purple than it was. <sighs> the building itself. Alright. Insulting people some more now, Belinor. Obviously that's, he is. I seem to do that a lot without yeah, trying. he's really good at it. <laughs> Like Listen, I said, drama seems to find you. <laughs> if you'd like, we could pay him pay him for like the end of your contract. My my contract? The prince, do you not have a contract yeah, with him? Work for him. Uh, I don't know. Ah, well, if you don't know, then you don't. If you didn't make a bargain and he didn't make a bargain, then you're free to come and go as you please. I think he tried, yeah. but I don't believe she even took it. What do you mean? Wait, now I'm confused. I've only talked to the prince one time. He doesn't come around. Well. And what did he say during that one conversation? He told me that women are the most lustful people in oh. the realm, and that we're the reasons men act the way they do, so it's his job to protect us. <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's cute, though. See, which house do you like? 
I want to see the big one over there in the back. With purple. See, Kiva's like, we don't need to put a ramp up there. I'm like, but what if people want to come up to the house? <laughs> it's fun. 90% of us fly. Come on. Oh, if I can't reach it, it's okay. No, we can put ramps up. You can fly, can you not? No, I can't. Oh, shit. Uh, do you have a broom? I have a... I can turn into a bird, but that's about it. Okay. Speaking of flying... Who who lives in the house that's like way up at the top there? Oh, that's uh Torbjorn and Nova. Oh, I see. Who hey, Torbjorn has been sick and Nova I didn't think wants to crawl out of bed even though he's sick. Yeah. I don't like to crawl out of bed when I'm sick, I understand. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. Let's go look. Okay. Excuse me. Oh, she's gonna try and walk all the way there. <laughs> That's dangerous. Well, yeah. I, I have trouble not being a bird anymore, so I, I don't know what to do. Not as dangerous as it was, yeah, I but, patched a few. Holes. Yeah, but <laughs> stop patching my holes! Not there for a purpose! Listen, as I was building, I fell like 16 fucking times, so yeah, I patched it. <laughs> Fight me! I will! Carry <laughs> her over there. <laughs> princess, the princess. Because we have no ramps over there. Well, that works too. Oh god, Bellin was actually. Good. There's no ramp, I just told you! Fine, I'll build a ramp. Oh my god, don't kill do us. Do you know how to fly, Bellinor? <laughs> Bellinor's <laughs> mostly yeah, made it. Okay, now there's no ramp here, so give me a second to construct something. <laughs> As I've said a few times. Ah, danger! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I definitely can get up there, right? I'm not going to struggle with this at all. Oh, fucking hell. I hate it. I, I hate it. I didn't mean to put you through all this trouble. It's okay. I was angry that we didn't have a ramp up there in the first place. So you're not putting me through any trouble. You're just giving me a reason to make more construction problems. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> I'll leave it here. Save me. Okay there, Poppy. Hang on. Yeah, no, absolutely not. Sorry, I was distracted. By what? I don't know, the wall's kind of shiny. <laughs> Jeez. <clears throat> okay, off. Safe. Definitely safe. <sighs> Why? Why? Actually, I think this is at the right level. Maybe it's close. So you got your bare feet today too. Yeah, I was out picking flowers. Okay, hang on, I got it. Uh, somebody rang the doorbell. Okay. I think we can reach. Yeah, no, we can, but I'm gonna make it safer. Oh. Well, as safe as. Oh no! <laughs> well. I didn't reach. Fair maiden, it was good Ooh. knowing you. I didn't feel like it was that far. <laughs> it's right there, I had to I do know, it. right? <laughs> it's always dangerous. Hang on, I feel like I gotta get like an actual factual fank rap or something. Yeah, that's very dangerous. I think I'm gonna walk, maybe that'll help. Maybe this one? This one, I got this. It's 
definitely gonna work. Also, there's holes in the bridge, so be careful. Okay, yeah, I fell out the hard way. Well, that won't work. Unless... Okay, make up. Got an idea. Oh, Becky. Oh! oh! Sorry. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't go far enough, Becky. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I did not go far enough, Vic, either, so, you know, it's fine. Yeah, sorry. I, I, I don't know why I, it didn't process for me. It's okay. It never processes for me, either. It's fine. This will work. Just make some construction decisions here. No. <laughs> now you get a balcony. <laughs> Perfectly safe construction decisions here. Oh my. <laughs> This is, this is nice. This is okay. Yeah, it'll be it'll be fun. Cause I'll make it so it like lines up nice. <coughs> Ooh. Interesting design choice. I don't know if I put my fireplace there, but I I did not design it, so. <laughs> and if you do decide to take it, it is more than reasonable for you to move what you need. Hey, look, I made it safe. You <laughs> 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 almost fireballed me. But I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta remember, it is, it is Poppy is Boom. You are. I'm burning. Anytime, anytime you are anywhere near her, you are in range of Boom. Yep, there you go. See? Perfectly, perfectly safe. I like it. Where are you even now? We're up at Caver's old house. What? Caver's old house? In all Kiva's. the way up. Uh, well, I can't get up there, so... Bye! Yeah, you can. We, she built stairs to it. There are stairs? Yeah, I put yeah. stairs to the black, the Aquilonian. Because... Oh. Kiva was insistent that flying is like a... Something a Valkyrie needs to do. You know, I really like this view, actually. It's very nice, I like it. I know, right? It's almost as good as my view. It's far away, so no one can hear me scream. <laughs> That's an ominous <laughs> thing to <laughs> say. I mean, and I mean, I'm right there. My house is right there. I think if you scream, I might hear you. That one? That one's pretty too. Yeah, the, the, the chaos house up there. Yeah, definitely. If you're sitting, like, in the chairs there. Mm. Yeah, I'm that's in. my... You definitely could hear. <laughs> that's my flat entry. Zoom. Can you hear me over there? Hello? Hi! Hi! <laughs> Balcony neighbors. <laughs> I like it. We can scream at each other. <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> Oi! Poppy. Oi! Yeah? Got guests. They're looking for you. Fucking hell, why? I, they, I guess I should go see why. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> you, you, want, you want your build box? I can bring it down. Nah, it's just. It's one of the houses. So, do you like it, Emily? No, it's alright. Hello, hi. Blech. Sorry. Oh. Hi, hello. How can I help you? Oh, hi, Poppy. So, I think uh, Lyrica was inquiring about something already. Hi, hello. How can I help you? I'll repeat. I had a number of questions about the expedition yesterday, and I also 
heard that there was possibly somebody planning an expedition for tomorrow night. That was me, but I think I'm going to hold off for a little bit. Cool just because, you know, the stars aren't in alignment. Don't ask me what they are. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> oh, Would you... Do you... You think you would possibly be available for a meeting tomorrow? I'd like to get as many people together to... It would just have to, get to, people... to be later. Like, mm, 8 that's... central or later, probably. Because I have a thing I must think about really, really... I've got to think about the magics for like several hours. Right. And yell at him. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. That or possibly two meetings, depending. Well, depending on how many people are interested and what their time frames are. Uh, but I thought it would be a good idea to try and get people informed so they can make informed decisions. I know not everyone's going to make the same decisions, but I'll try and get as many people on the same page knowledge wise as possible. I do try to post like short snippet updates, but it's not the same as telling somebody like an hour long story about a particular thing that happened. Yeah. I don't think we really have much more information from last night other than a clusterfuck of confusing things about sigils and war and whatnot and all that. Speaking of, I, I wasn't able to make it to the meeting beforehand. I didn't, I didn't know the expedition until after the meeting. Uh, what was the purpose of the expedition yesterday? Um, we the per there was twofold options like what we had discussed as goals. One was to activate that ritual thing, which I think we did. I don't fucking know. And the other one was to try and get War's head. And then about halfway through the expedition, we did end up having one third goal, which did not get communicated because it was more of a private thing. But we did actually accomplish that goal. So. Well, it was half First. communicated, but yeah. It was communicated to the people who, like who were making the calls. So. That was why the decisions were made the way they were. So it was not like shouted at the rooftops for everybody to hear because it was somebody's personal thing. I don't even know the full details. I just know it was important. So we did what we did. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just heard that it was important. So we just took on that one. Yeah. We made the decision to recover the Pale Hound because it was important to someone. And apparently it was a success. So... All that was the was the hound destroyed? Uh, no. Apparently, he's a revivifying construct sort of thing, and he's tied to war. I don't know. You got to ask Tavriel. Interesting. I believe the general idea is he reconstitutes himself until war is dead. If I heard correct. That was kind of what it seemed like. Yeah. What about the other two? Other two? Oh, Dagger and Sword. Those two were found to be constructs powered by slivers of souls. We tried to capture them to like this, like once we had like deactivated them, but they kind of just collapsed and fell to dust. We were hoping to do some investigation in regards to like the construct bodies to maybe find weaknesses, but pff, that didn't work. I understand. Yeah. So you said about... Hmm? I was just... I'm reconfirming. You said about after 8 central is when you would be available for any meeting. I think so. I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I'm not 100% sure how long I have to like do some research tomorrow. But I think... I think I'm, I'm starting at 6 so it should probably be done by 8. Right? 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 Alright. Definitely. It'll definitely be done by 8. <laughs> Alright. I'll probably plan it for about 9 then. Yeah, they'd be good. Where are you planning it? It. I'm thinking of the Mystic Tree if they're up for it, but I'm also going to speak with Calypso about her place. I'd like to... 
I like for it to be somewhere neutral and if there are further, we like to do it at different places. I mean, at that so, point, I think your best bet for neutral is town. Because no place is truly neutral. It belongs to someone and everybody's got grudges. But it's your meeting, so you can choose wherever the hell you want. <coughs> um, would there... you have any issue with it being at the uh, Mythic Tree or at the Club uh, I'd prefer Mythic Tree. I like Mythic Tree, though, you know. It's a bit less without Adria. I understand. As for Calypso, I do know that that house might make some people feel uncomfortable. I like Calypso, don't get me wrong. Just there's some things that have been said that, uh... If I had to pick between the two choices you've offered, I'd say Mythic Tree. Alright. Same. Also, they I think they have really good seating. <laughs> Not that anybody's going to fucking see it. <laughs> well, another, I think, decent, op good option would be the Healing Springs Clinic. The... Oh, yeah! Um, area? I just wasn't sure... I what don't think anyone like... really has an issue with them, but I could be wrong. Honestly, I don't even know who lives there. I just go there all the time when people get, give me boo-boos. <laughs> right. I don't really know who lives there either. I just run right. into people there and that's right. That's cool. I've I have no know idea that, who lives the there. people I ran into over there are nice. That's yeah. about it. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to speak. I didn't say anything, go ahead. I was just going to say, I'll have to speak with Lucy then, I think. Um, what are your thoughts, uh, Astrid, Paula? Um, I think, you know, either... Either one is wor worth it. You know, we can do it over by us, or... Mythic Tree, it doesn't matter. I think as long as people feel comfortable going to whichever one is okay with me. I mean, it depends. Are you trying to reach like everybody, or are you trying to like target a specific group of people? What's your goal here with this? Everybody. I believe, it, I believe it's similar to the meetings that myself and Jill Cover used to try and schedule. So I've been trying to focus more on doing things with the research group, but I've not had much luck in that regard. What research group? The people that volunteered to help look into things, but unfortunately, people that are not really looking into what I sent courier birds out to ask them to do. I mean, I've always found the best way to get the most people is to stand in the middle of town and talk about it, but sometimes people can be very disruptive. So, hmm. I'm more than willing well, to I tell people to shut up, though. <laughs> I sent a large amount of courier birds out to each of the different households, basically asking them if they wanted to help look into things as part of a research group to input when they're usually around on the notice board next to Jonathan inside the Explorer's Guild. That way I can try and have like smaller meetings with those that are wanting to do the whole research group thing. So the thing I found that garners the most success is not saying who wants to, saying we are, you're welcome to come and help. This is when we're doing it. Right? Don't don't ask for volunteers because people are really reluctant to do that. Say we are doing this if you would like to help. Unless you have some other like person who can manage these projects for you. Yeah, just pick the thing you care about and do it. Chaos Law, thank you for the follow. This is more like... Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, please continue. It's more just a simple... Like, trying to make sure that each thing that needs to be researched is looked into, because, like, obviously I don't know what I would need looked into. That's why I was going to try and have these smaller meetings with the people that are researching things. 
I don't know. I have one project besides expeditions, and it is my gating machine, which we kind of have impromptu meetings whenever the fuck somebody wants to talk about it, so. No. Is uh, that? that thing up there, it needs to be cleaned of necrosis, but look. Uh, here, Gavin. Up there. Is a machine we're working on to try to generate the conditions necessary to create a gate as an exit like a uh, plan <laughs> you know in case we can't defeat the pale and maybe we just find a really rapid exit instead uh poppy would something like this work what you should see the harpoon just just an idea a uh, magical engine I have no idea what you I'm looking at because the bag is in. Uh, describing the fucking <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, you have to have Tov describe uh, it. I can't see what's in the bag. Uh, I can show you if you like, but like, I genuinely cannot see in this bag. There's nothing there for me. Alright, I'll put it in this box, sir. Besides the engine, that's an ohm problem. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and we need to fix Orm before that, because I'm I'm not touching that engine if he ain't fixed before he does that. I don't know. I know he's got a lot of fucking mental problems, right? But he's, it's in the uh... box, puppy. But the one thing I like about Orm is he's very smart when it comes to making stuff. Hmm. What are the? I'm sorry if this is. That's not what you were talking about, but one of the things I've been thinking of trying to address in the meetings was what everyone's trying to do to work against the pale, uh, different groups, if they're willing to speak on it. Would you be up for that, Poppy? Yeah, I don't mind. Uh, like I said, I mentioned it in the expedition. It was like, hey, I'm working on a project to create an exit strategy. If you're interested, talk to me later. A few people did, actually. And then we got talking about theoretical engines and harpoons and like penetration and all sorts of weird things all right so working on an exit strategy as well uh, what are your current plans for working against the pale otherwise uh my goal based on the the limited amount of information I know is get the skulls, stick them in the door, get to the cell well, close the cell well, hopefully lock the pail out of the realm and then fucking scooty beat out of here. Very concise. Very straightforward plan. Do you mind me taking some notes just in case? <laughs> yeah, sure. Sorry. Get the skulls! We have one, supposedly. I have no idea who has it, by the way. Step one, acquire brain cavity containers. Step two. What? Do you... what? what? Sorry, what? Do you know how many... Do you know uh, how many skulls? Five. And if there's... Five that are needed for four keys in the door in the catacombs. Um, there was one that came from, I think it was. I don't remember if it was famine or. It was famine. I don't know if it's been turned uh, into the door. I have no idea who got it. I've not gotten a first hand account of this at all. To see. Um. I think. When they... The last time they rescued Adria from the torture chamber, one of them was taken down and... With the help of Ivan, Dove, and... Um... At least... I, I, uh, I'm having difficulty remembering his name. I think it was... Aaron... Aridin? Aridin. 
pigeon. Yes. And, uh, he was defeated, and they managed to get his skull. Gold Dove gave it to someone? There was another person in the room, but I don't remember for sure who it was. I don't know where the skull is, which is kind of a like, hey, where did the brain cavity go? Kind of an issue. But, step one, acquire skulls. Step two, put skulls in door. Step three, go through door and find so well. Step four, close so, so well. Step five, middle finger to the pale. Step six, exit realm. Very clear plan. <laughs> Do you have any any more specific ideas or plans for how to acquire the skulls? Ah, uh, smash. At least a few of them conquests in the two deaths. Or you do you know usually well deaths are guarding the door, conquest is just kinda wants to fight. Uh, death, I've got fuck all clue. Apparently, he wants honorable combat with one specific person, which seems weird. And then, yeah, I don't know. Listen, I've got limited information. I'm just going, setting my goals out and hoping we get there. Roll with the punches. <clears throat> Understood. Also, hello, Kim. Hi, love. Hello, dear. Um, do you mind me asking what your next expedition plan was for? Fucking, I don't usually actually plan the expeditions much beyond when we get there and we get every. But basically, the meetings go, show up if you want to fucking help. Then we kind of review what's happened for the last couple days. Then we decide what we're fucking doing and we set our goals. And then we, you know, review, hey, medical bracelets, tags, buddy system... Please don't stab each other. This, like, we review like what to do in certain situations. Then we go. So usually expeditions don't like. I'll have some ideas in mind, but I kind of put it to like the crowd because a lot of times people have more information than I do, and it's one of the best places to get information shared. Because we had like thirty people here yesterday. Um. Yeah. Well. I'm sorry, what? Like, I'm always open to, diff like, different options, right? Like, we've done expeditions where we're like, we'll start here and we'll go here. We've done expeditions where we're like, oh, we, well, I have no idea, and then we just pick something. Sometimes I have a plan, but usually I, I'll have an idea, but I'll put it to the group because we'll, once we have everybody, like, shared information, uh, we can make a better decision. And most people are willing to help and do what we can. So, you know, I've always found that it is better to just put a time and a place down and then people show up and then we figure out what we need to do from there. I am also I finding out that. that people who show up who haven't come to the meetings are really fucking nasty naysayers. And it's very stressful in the middle of a combat situation to deal with people standing there be like, I'm just here to watch. I'm like, you are going to get a fucking fireball to the face. And I'm not responsible for you. Well, I mean, depends on the people. We showed up after meeting and we weren't <laughs> doing yeah. that. Yeah, but you've also <laughs> done these with us, right? You have a fucking idea of what's going on. There was probably yeah. like 10 people who showed up. Never been to one of these like expedition pre prep plans. They and were, were they like, the one that that dragged a half the group to like, just step down? I in don't the middle fucking of know. It? I mean, <laughs> that would explain it. Yeah, th there was a, a couple people like we always we always set a caller right. Like this is the person who makes the calls during the combat situation, right? We're like, why did he decide? I'm like, literally because this is his job for the expedition. <laughs> we asked him to do so. I even asked, does anybody else want to be the caller? No volunteers. <laughs> nope. Is this next expedition, is it also going to be to the um, Frost Temple? 
Oh, I don't know. I'm thinking probably not, but mm -hmm. maybe we'll have more information. I don't fucking know. Like I said, I don't make decisions so, till we get there with more information. Is the general goal of these expeditions just to get people acting then? Acting and like usually to get skulls, unless we have some other goal. Like if we go and I say, okay, we're going to have an expedition on Friday and a bunch of people show up. And then, like, we have the meeting, and I find out, oh, well, there's actually this new secret delve that all of the aspects kind of lay down and let you cut the heads off. We'll go there, right? If there's new information that comes to light in the meeting, then we'll, we'll act on that, right? All right, that makes sense. It, the expeditions are more if you, like, this is why I never tell anybody where we're fucking going, right? Because I don't know. And then I'll have people who show up who don't come to the meeting, and then you have act things like people who don't understand what a caller is, or what roles are, and like... I don't mind! You just gotta have a concept, give me 30 minutes to explain what we're doing, and then we can go and you can be part of it, and it's fine. But... I, like I've, I've always asked like does somebody want to act as this position does somebody want to like have any new like I asked this this was the part that was wild to me right does anybody have information they want to share nothing comes up about Redford and war in the sigils until we're literally in the fucking delve and people are like oh yeah by the way <laughs> can you can imagine um... how fucking frustrated I was yeah, that sounds frustrating. Oh, don't worry. We're just sitting down and listening to people shithouse us all day long as well after the fact. Yeah, I don't give a shit what people yeah. think. They don't have to come on the expeditions. Oh, it's fine. I know who's not coming the next expedition. I'll call them out and kick them out. <laughs> yeah. What? what all was mentioned about oh, uh, Redford and Thank you for the raid. The war marking people, if you Welcome don't mind raiders. asking. Um... So this is the part that wasn't super clear, but apparently Redford is marked by war and war won't come out unless you do some like weird thing with Bobbers. And by the way, this is all according to the Pale, who I don't take as a reliable source of information. Because anytime the Pale tells me to do something, I think it's probably bad for my health. <clears throat> Did yeah. you have a good stream? Or the other way around works as well. Uh, the Pale said something about... Uh, it, but then also, so did, I cannot recall who it was who mentioned it. There was, there was somebody who backed up what they said about Redford being marked by war, and then there was these things about sigils, and I'm just fucking absolutely goddamn clueless on that. Like, we saw, like, I saw one of the sigils, personally, but other than that, I have no fucking idea. Um... What what information was gained from studying those magic circles? Or... I hear the books up on the channel. I did not get a good look at it. I'm sorry, there were too many things trying to steep my ass. <laughs> it's kind of right. Um, do you know, remember who was studying them? If they might have that information or might be coming forward with it soon? I think Tina and Melodia took a look at it, but again, a lot of this was all in an active they combat did. situation. I think, uh, maybe Bill and Nord did? Tempest and, like, Tab, I think, might have. Uh, like, there was a lot of people trying to figure out what was going on. Where the fuck are you, Bill and Up. Look up. Why do you do this? Excuse me. Get from above. <laughs> Miss. Oh no. <laughs> That's okay. When we walked into the. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the poppy we... doesn't miss. When we walked into well, the cave, today. Today, everyone just started dropping <laughs> from the ceiling. So I was like, what the hell? <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? Like, they <laughs> dropped right behind me. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck? One uh, after the other. <laughs> we are the proud engineers of drop dwarf technology it's where we drop like really heavy things from the ceiling and they, like you try and murder them with it yeah i was told about that too <laughs> like you were dropping bombs and stuff 
We've also learned <laughs> to catapult ourselves into battle. <laughs> have oh. You, oh my god, have you two yet <laughs> flying <laughs> lessons? I did the first time uh, <laughs> I walked in there. Astrid was like, try this. <laughs> and then she's like, drink this first, though. Please drink this first. I was like, oh, okay. But I did it, and I hit a mushroom, and then fell down. <laughs> I didn't yeah. know what to do. I was like, oh shit. And I was like, I'm just going in front of the line. Yeah. We, yeah. we have learned that the catapult above the house to my right can launch you all the way to my balcony at the top of the No left. shot. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's two catapults in the cave and one in the passage part. I oh, probably should just yeah. put more in random locations. <laughs> yeah. I do agree with that. Just, I need a catapult that launches you straight down. Were you able to get any information from those uh, sigils? No, I personally was not, and I don't really particularly like repeating secondhand knowledge because it gets really muddled, so I'd oh. rather point you to the people who I knew did. Yes, that's what I was trying to ask Bellinor. Sorry. Oh, Bellinor! <laughs> Sorry, can you, re can you repeat it? <laughs> Were you able to get any information or learn anything from those sigils? You mean in the ice cave? Yes, uh, last night. Unfortunately, no. I I know that we found two of them, and people said that we were able to energize the two that we found, but apparently there are four, and I have been unable to decipher any information about them. I don't know what we're looking for. I don't know what is required to energize them. If we're even doing it right, I don't even know if the individuals who say they were energized actually were correct in that. Do you remember who said this? I do know. I, I know that it was something that people, as I was running through, asked me. So the way that it started, we were able to locate the first sigil in the main room, right? The, the room that splits off in three different directions. And then I ran off to look for others and could not find any. And when I came back, people said that, oh, we had gotten this one energized and they found another one in the room down where the fighting was happening. And then about 15 minutes later, it just started circulating that we had gotten that one energized as well. I don't know who said that or or what was done to energize them. I have no information on it at all. I've been trying to ask around and can't get any clear answers. All right. I know that there were a few of the arcane and dark users standing by the first one, namely uh, Calypso was one of them. If you ask her, you may be able to get some answers as to what happened. I have not been able to see her since the event. Thank you. Um, did you notice any particular affinity for the one that you did find? The one that I did look at and see it was dark energy or no it was arcane energy wasn't it do you remember poppy were you able to decipher no i didn't do lucky shit i just kind of rubbed ice on it and hoped that helped <laughs> was that like i blasted the ever loving shit out of it with elemental energy i didn't wait to see what happened and then i came back and i blasted it with arcane later i figured that that would help him or not if that I, if I remember correctly, I, rem I think somebody said that it was arcane, but I do not. God, I don't fucking know. Remember again, I, I, I couldn't decipher anything about it, and I know that there were a few others that were trying. I had some drunk but goblin I... energy yesterday. I have no answer for you. That, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I tried good this whole time. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Calypso was there pretty much the entire time, if I remember correctly. I'm a firm believer that expeditions should be taken drunk because it makes it so much easier dealing with bullshit. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Thorak's gonna do his own uh, expedition as well. When? Yeah, he can go fuck himself. Oh god, what happened now? Oh, I just sat in town and listened to people shit houses the entire way. Some surprising folks that talk shit about you and I. Yes, did you read the, m the message on the board in town? Is oh. that what you're referring to? Yeah, no. that was a bit out of line. Sit there and talk about us and how you and I do things and what have you. And uh, Thorok seemed to be in particularly entitled to the information he didn't fucking have. Like what? Comments about not doing things like you do. Puppy did us. I'm sorry, I tend to get things done. I... that was my thing as well. I was with, uh... Actually, I think, Annalie, I was with you, was I not? When I... when we read that and... And I was like, Poppy and King have been two individuals who have helped... Lead these expeditions the most and have helped garner the most information. Yeah, and it was pretty effective when they did, so... Not that everyone else hasn't had a hand in it, but the two of you in particular have helped really organize and spearhead most of... of no, I sat there and listened to who was talking and having their opinions about us, and I promise you they won't be going with us on expeditions. If they can't be respectful, that is absolutely for the best. I don't care if they're respectful. I care if they listen to orders in the middle of an expedition. That's what I care about. Keep your fucking tongue to yourself. Yeah, that too. As long as you follow orders in the middle of an expedition and it's don't start a fucking fight, I don't care. But that also seemed to be an issue yesterday. Seems to be coming. Seems to be a recurring issue with certain individuals. I've been really surprised about like how helpful Eclipse Court has been. Like they always show and they always commit and they always go full force with it. And if they're not there at the beginning, they follow orders when they're inside. They don't wing it. Yeah, which is surprising because I'm always batting heads with them, but I've, they always they always work with the team. I think that's why you butt heads with them, though, is you don't always agree on what should be done, but you both understand we are working to the same end goal here. Getting in each other's way will not help that. Yeah. There is that respect, I think, between us. I think it's acknowledging that we all have a common enemy. Well, so I think there's no use in fighting each other if we're trying to fight bigger picture. I don't know, a lot of people seem to think that the pale's not their enemy! Yeah, they choose arguing in the middle of battle is a better plan. We didn't need to attack the pale because they clearly didn't <laughs> want to hurt us and there was nothing to be gained from it! <laughs> uh, what do you want to have a tea party with them? They did hurt, and it hurts a lot. I can attest the pale isn't out for tea and cookies. I think people yeah. kind of forget that these soldiers have kidnapped and tortured and murdered people. Mm -hmm. Numerous people at this point, not just, a f not just like a handful. Yeah. At least a dozen or more. Yeah, we don't even have all the names in the memorial, but like just in the memorial there's like eight eight people we were all close to that's the eight people we were close to that's not counting the people we weren't close to or anything like that precisely um pseudo she she's less hiding of it it's uh, not something she like readily admits but and that they continue she doesn't to defile hide it quite as different much households across the land and it's what he rerolled damaging them breaking into them, stealing what is not theirs to take. Now, I haven't seen him play at all, but...
Alright. Yeah. Do you... Do you know who... The pale that... Entities that have been cited that have given names are? And which ones have been eliminated? Uh, permanently? Uh, I don't know if they can be. Wait, At least with the hound, we took his soul and... It's back again. Yeah, that one seems to be bound in some sort of re like reconstruction contract or something. Bound specifically to death was what I understood. Well, during the little discussion in town, they did bring up some. Uh, they wanted to uh, stabilize the ley lines. Who? Uh, I think it was Tempest, Jewel Boat, and I offered something like a magical engine to. Uh, maybe stabilize the Leyland, stop the pale from traveling through the Leylands. I don't know. It's that, just an idea. That is an immensely difficult prospect. The ley lines, the only two that were stable were under the, the void altars. And um, they have since destabilized. They're all kind of fuzzy butts and nonsense and I've got to be honest the magic entirely in the land has got this nasty sort of rot corruption in it wait sorry who was talking about doing what to uh, ley lines no miss no it was, it was Thorax's idea but uh, it's Tempest and I and Joba were throwing around ideas but Another idea was uh, to create some sort of like uh, gems to store magical energy. So, what if we if we do go on these uh, when we go on these expeditions, instead of uh, draining ourselves of these magics, we could just uh, interface them with the the runes themselves. Or you know, uh, transfer magical energy to those that have been uh, depleting their mana. Um. As someone who has utilized the magic in the ley lines extensively, I would not encourage anyone to dig into it if they have an alternative source. It is highly corruptive, highly rotten, highly nasty, and connected to the pale extensively. I would not dig, dig into it if you had an option alternative. No, I mean, the gems would be uh, purely outside of that. It's just an idea. You mean like gems that are powered by certain magics? Yes, like, uh, like for instance, say if you were... Uh, you had drained your magics while healing, you could um, pull in that extra magic from the gem itself and then revitalize yourself with the magic. I don't know, that's, that's not a project I intend to lead. I have one project and then the expeditions in that is more than enough things for me to focus on. If somebody wants to try and stabilize the ley lines and take lead on that project, great. It's not going to be me, though. I'll advise on it, but... I would advise just uh, against it in general. Uh, it might be Tempest's uh, plan. Ley network's pretty fucked. Be back in a moment. Yeah. Lyra, you blend into the carpet. Right. I kind of do, yeah. <laughs> it took me like kind of realized realize that. that's what she was. <laughs> I was sat on it and then I went like, well, fuck it. I'm just going to blend into it. I'm not moving. <laughs> Where's Lyra? I don't know. I've lost her. She's somewhere. Hello? <laughs> don't stop on me. I mean, one of these days um, we're going to get set up a seating place that's not yeah, absolute uh, fucking chaos. <laughs> you know, if we extended 
the bar area over there a little bit. We could put some seating in on that side. I'm... And even make it raised so that you could, like, watch the combat you... going on yeah, in the we arena. Could, we could do something. I feel like the arena, maybe if we, like, shunked it, like, two more smaller people might sit. I don't know. I can't get people to sit to save my fucking life. I'm not even sitting. What the hell? I'm, I'm sitting. I know you're sitting because you're fucking <laughs> perching like a fucking angry bird. I would laugh if you would fall someday, you know that. Yeah, so I was told up, down, left, right, that pestilence and famine are the same thing. Come to find out, after we've slayed famine, a pestilence showed up, so I don't understand. I'm confused. That, that thought... confused me as well. Yep. Because people famine. were absolutely adamant that pestilence and famine were the same. Yep. And then famine shows, or pestilence shows up, so I don't know. How long ago was famine des destroyed? Maybe oh. two weeks ago? Nah, I don't think it was quite that long, but it's been a minute. Well, at least a week. At least a week, not quite two, I think. Somewhere in there. Yeah, something in, in between, yeah. Again, I can't oh, quite sorry. get a first hand story of who did it and when and where. I think it was pestilence you destroyed. No, it was female. I believe, if I remember correctly, it was the day after, or two days after, we were able to unlock the keys on the door. The pale had gone silent for almost two days, and then famine came out twice, and the second time that he showed his face, they were able to bring him down and take his head and the key. Yeah. Alright, so pestilence is a separate one. Yeah. Um, yes. And famine was the one that was defeated in the crypt that night that Adria was taken. I don't know if that's when it really was, but I feel like somebody, you said, what was it, Ivan was there? He's probably going to be the easiest one to get a straight answer from. Uh, actually, Lyrica is correct. It was that same evening. Was it? When Adria had been taken, Famine came to retrieve her after they had gotten her back. Famine tried to get her again, and that's when they brought him down. Um, I remember one of them being killed or destroyed in the crypt while they, just after they had retrieved Adria, I think. Um, it, it, as well as for... For Cynthia? See, this is why I've been trying to kind of do that short timeline update thing. Yeah. But on actually, hang on. Give me one second. I have a copy of that. Uh, you, you very well could be correct. Uh, though, I, I was not there for that that evening. All right. Ivy was killed on the 22nd. Frost Temple. I don't have it listed in the updates when Vermin was destroyed. The door was... Sure? I don't... I saw it I, on the board in No, town. no, 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 no. Okay, so... Uh, there are four known aspects of the Pale. Death, that's two of them. War, Famine, and Conquest. That's from the 18th. Um, the, the Frost Tomb door now has four keyholes that will fit five skulls. That was also on the 18th. The next post is the, 20 sec the 21st. Ivy died. The 22nd was the Frost Temple. The 24th, Adria died. The 24th, it was posted about Mars's enslavement. So I don't have when Famine died in this timeline. If... Um, does anyone know what Pestilence looks like? Think about Famine, but about half his size, and more black instead of green. He has a green head still, but he's got like... Famine didn't have tentacles, really. Pestilence has tentacles all over him, and he's about half the height of Famine. Um, I'm gonna start getting pictures. Famine had tentacles, I think. The one he that did. was taken down. He had bony tentacles. Bony tentacles. Bony tentacles. He looked almost like some weird alien creature. He was always crouched down. Yeah, he was. Uh, well, okay. height wise, so Caspian, can you go stand by King? For a moment for me. <laughs> okay. Also, hi Caspian. 
the, the, oh. that oh, right hello. there is about the difference in size between the two of them. Huh. I was mainly just coming over to see how Lyrica was doing. I heard she got a uh, bonked. Well, it would be a day in half if we could go a week without everybody getting bonked. <laughs> who are you that is bonking, Lyrica? Who's bonking who? Um, are you speaking myself or Lyra? Because I think we both got hurt last night. Oh, I'm talking about you. Oh. Um, I, from what I remember, I took a sword to the back from one of the pale, um, and then afterwards I remember being thrown up in the air, and I don't know exactly what happened afterwards. You know what that means, right? Um... No. More training for you. <laughs> oh, that's another thing. Okay. We should organize another training thing. Because we haven't done another, like, coordinated training thing in a hot minute. And I know we saw actual, like, factual improvements in battle strategy after we did one of those. That we did. Yeah, like, we saw genuine improvement in group efforts after we had done one of the trainings. Why are you frowning at me? I saw just as many people that were supposedly at one of those efforts acting cowardice last night. Uh, um, the the well, training was not about bravery, I'll say that. It was more about not smacking the shit out of each other. I also think there are a number of individuals who have allowed those who have been passing affect their constitution in fight there more of the flight than fight type but I do think that holding trainings maybe not constantly but every one or two weeks might help keep the spirits up and remind yeah. everyone how we are capable of fighting against these Maybe we do group fights tomorrow, I'll set up like an arena out in the middle of nowhere and we'll just do teams and we'll do that instead of an expedition. I think that could be very beneficial. Yeah. Just, it's good fun usually too. Why are you frowning? I had my bird. <laughs> 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 Sending angry letters. I don't know. Do you want to give him a hug? I'm sure he would be totally accepting of this full here, unfortunately. <laughs> my hands are a little full. Probably frowning I... at me, considering I'm one of the people that left. Huh? Said I... he's probably frowning at me, considering I'm one of the people that left. So why did you do that? Because my high lady ordered me to. And I listen to her above anyone. That's a good reason. I mean... Uh, good to see oh. you, Cass. If I get considered a coward for following orders of someone who I follow, then so be it. But I have fought in damn near every battle of the Pale. I've fought death one-on-one -on -one personally and survived. So... I'll say Not it. only that, but you do lend your capabilities quite well when we are needing to treat people as well. I'll say it this way. When we are organizing an expedition, we are following the orders of the person who has the caller, nor any other hierarchical structure that's kind of the consent of being part of the expedition. Like, and I don't mean any disrespect to your, your people, but my high lady comes before all then she probably shouldn't have been there. She wanted to go, so she went. She did not deem it safe to stay, so she pulled us back, and that is her decision. And what happened has happened. So now it I'll ask you this question. A conversation we need to have with her, Poppy. 
I don't even know who your high lady is, but I'll ask you this question. Is that the decision you would have made? It does not really matter what I chose because I told her that I will stay and fight. I don't really care. I... If it was just me, I would have stayed and fought. She chose to leave as her position requires her to tend to an entire nation of people when she gets back home, so she has to survive. Then she should not have been there in the first place. Good morning, Zeppy. Hi, Zeppy! Evening. If someone oh. is too valuable to risk in the battlefield, mm. then they should not be there. Uh, King? Lucky Lee's are not particularly helpful in an active fight. I mean, so. she was fighting. Again, I, I don't even know who High Lady is. It's I've High Lady Josephine. She was a part of the rear guard. Uh, the armor I have is. Could you also, maybe take a look at it? See if it's. Yeah, um, then. Mindsets may change, good. but that does not change the orders they are given in battle. If they cannot accept the risk, and they cannot accept the orders they are given, so they should it. not be there. When you decide to change your attitude in the middle of battle, you only lead to more being injured. I think if she wasn't willing to help, mm, wasn't willing to continue, it was better to retreat than possibly place herself an obstacle. But the difficulty is she did not just retreat. She took an entire arm of the force out, which put everyone else at risk. Um, well, here's here's my question, sorry. what I would say. Did, was there any regard or concern given to the retreat, or was it simply you needed to leave to ensure her safety, or was there dissent made of the decisions? I talked to her before we fully left, and I said that I would stay and continue fighting to help. Um, I willingly volunteered myself. She did not think that was wise, as I'm still recovering from some of my injuries with uh, caused by death. So I followed what she said, and I left. No, I think, let me try to explain my question a bit better. Was, did she have any disconsent, like, words that were shared with the actions that were taken to dishearten and demoralize as it took place? Because I don't think I heard her voice as one of no. those. No, she didn't. She did not say anything against any of you. And I have no problem with that decision then, because she did not dissent and cause further chaos in that regard. It was a choice that was made because it was a peaceful moment until I decided to change things. Yes, we could have talked about it better, but she made the right decision to leave and not further so chaos in doing so. So I have no issue with you, Caspian, and your people. Many of your own did a fair deal in the fight as it was. So no, I have no disrespect for you. Okay. Yeah, because there was a lot of people yesterday yelling. Like, a lot of people yelling. But I think you all actually came to, like, the prep meeting, so you had a fucking concept. I do apologise, I don't think we gave you, like, the full prep we usually do, because most of the people had been on other expeditions. We probably could have covered callers and partners and other things like that a little bit better, but... I... You don't have to worry about that, Poppy. Yeah. I have fought in a lot of wars during my lifetime. I understand the ins and out of combat well. Um, I found a partner within my own court and I stayed with them the entire time and we were fine. Yeah, I totally forgot to mention partners until we got there and I went, ah, fuck. Because it's so hard to keep track of who was there without battle buddies. Everybody's like, just make a list. I'm like, I don't know, there were 14 people who showed up that weren't in the meeting, so that would have been a hard thing to do. Um, 
I know you've heard of this harbinger. Has he been? Uh, thanks. Has he been? So the harbinger, the harbinger was the no, uh, that's the herald the, uh, to these aspects the essentially. He was a being that was around before them, and I know we defeated whatever form he was in at the Winter Embassy a while ago. And then after that, these other things seem to have started coming around. Um, the only one I've actually seen so far is death. But I hear that. It... Go ahead, sorry. Oh, sorry, I was just going to ask, is it known if he was destroyed or, like, permanently destroyed or? I, I thought he'd been I seen again. Yes, I don't believe he is permanently destroyed. I think a lot it of them are seem... like aspects. So he yeah. hasn't been seen in a while, but he's not known to be dead? There is no confirmation of death on the Harbinger, so it's better to assume that it's still around somewhere. Also, uh, back to your conversation earlier about famine and pestilence, I would put them kind of like there's famine and then consider pestilence a lieutenant, similar to how there is war and then conquest is war's lieutenant. Is war? I... Wait, is conquest oh, wait, war's who's... lieutenant? That's what I heard from Tavriel in town about 10 minutes ago. I thought the only time Conquest had been spotted was the first delve for the keyholes. Or maybe it was it's the second. No, it was the first delve, not the second. The first time we pushed in there, I think we saw Conquest, but we didn't see him the second time. Has he been spotted since? I do not know the answer to that. I haven't ever actually seen War or conquest, or famine, or pestilence. Mm, death looks like death. Conquest is small yeah. and yellow. Pe famine was this green bony thing. Never seen war before, and I've never seen famine. Did you say famine was pestilence, Lieutenant, or the other way around? <sighs> the other way around. I don't know if that's true. That seems like a maybe a theory, mm. but I don't know if it's substantiated. I'm just going with things I've been told, so... Yeah. So Conquest, as far as we know, has not been spotted outside of the, um, Frozen Crib? No, and I will state very clearly, because this was something I found when I tried to siphon a soul, he is bound to that place as it is his domain. Right? So as long as he's there, he cannot be soul siphoned. I don't know how you get his head off, but I think the temple is War's domain, yeah. But Death also guards the door, but Death has been sported outside of the tomb. Death has been. Oh, yeah. There were two of them. There were two, but Sweet. one of them was actually spotted here when we were in Tumin Aza. He came to silence her soul, but he did not take her. Now she's been taken again, but... Hello? Hi, Tempest. Oh, yes, I'm, I'm not fine. intruding. No? Not at all. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, you absolutely are, you. but it's all right. Shit. Oops. <laughs> it's fine. We're just we're just trying to sort out the ungodly quantity of like aspect names and how they're related to each other and who's alive and who's dead and who's actually dead alive and what the hell this thing has to do with that thing who's and dead alive. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm so, I'm so confused. Mm. I feel like I need a flow yeah, chart. It's good. It 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 is good to do. Apparently there's a lot of misinformation about 
Also, I had a question for you, Poppy. I was looking at the map that you had placed out a while back of the ley lines. Mm -hmm. I noticed there is one that runs quite high, but not where the Frost Temple is, does it? I I literally just said these. Hang on, give me a second. Crawling. About a general Where is Orm? <laughs> oh, wait, I thought I was in trouble. It's Orm. Oh, no, <laughs> not you. You know, Orm. I am not gonna complain. Okay. I was wondering why he was feeling my fucking coat yesterday. Now did it all makes sense. Did he steal your, <laughs> like, your pocket watch? What do you think? What do you I... think he did? Oh, no. He, <laughs> he took my shoes. Did yeah, he... no, but you gave those to him. He came in when I was taking a nap and took my fucking coat and shirt. <laughs> you know, I don't have any other clothes. That's all I've got. Uh, <laughs> I don't really mind that. It's not a bother. Oh. Yeah, you really fit in with the Sator vibe, do you? <laughs> but my nips are cold. I need a jacket. <laughs> nah, you're fine. Come on. Oh, damn it, I'm gonna fucking kill him. Do you want my veil? <laughs> what is that going to do? <laughs> 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 it's really <so> small. <laughs> really small. No, go. it's fine. It's fine, really. <sighs> God damn it! If any of you see him, let him know I'm looking for him. He probably doesn't even remember that he stole it from me. Have you seen the laser? He's probably sitting in one of his. Well, I mean, now. his plan has God. been has been dragged since last night, since he had told me about it. So. Ba -ba -ba. Happy you didn't get it's a I have a fur cloak, Tav. Oh, 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 hey, Tav. Sorry, I'm digging up the map for the ley lines, <laughs> like the actual coordinates maps, not the pretty one. It's Tav and Tav. It is. It's a bit, a bit confusing. Hello, Tav. Hello, sorry, I'm bit, shirtless. Looking a bit nippy today. Apparently, <sighs> <laughs> stole him. his shirt. Fucking, fucking kill him. Do you know where he is? Where are you, Orm? <laughs> Have you tried his house? He didn't came to brag over here, so... There's Lyrica. Someone to Hello. Today. I have How are you doing, sir. Lyrica? I'm doing well. I have that dress pack, though. <gasps> yes. It's temporary. <gasps> this is my excuse to go it's buy scary. some more clothes. Right, I'm gonna go buy some clothes. The little money I have, because fucking Orm stole it. <laughs> wow! Not you, Poppy, you're fine. I'm the best kind of goblin. Look, you know, it, it doesn't quite hit it, but... Listen, I gotta be honest, the ley lines are all wiggly and bullshit, so... You know, it's fun. Well... I, I, okay, I just, I just showed up. I don't know you, how far into the ley line conversation. Oh, I just showed up too. We're fine. I just wanted uh, the more accurate uh, visual or description of where they are from Poppy. Because uh, the temple, it's, um, apparently there is one there, right? But the original map, it doesn't quite run over the temple. Map. No, it doesn't. Map, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't, but I will state this very clearly. The ley lines have been unstable and wiggling around like bullshit crazy. So it would mm. not surprise me if they drifted. <laughs> mm -hmm. So. I thought I could this make this one bigger, going but... right over my tower. Yeah, there's a lot of like people finding out that they live on ley lines and it made a lot of people real fucking nervous. <laughs> Like, surprise! May I ask you a question? Oh, so we were discussing just... in town earlier, Poppy, the oh, yeah. potential of us focusing once again on the ley lines yeah. if they are being yeah. used for pale to travel and. Yeah. I mean, they were being used to thwart them. Swing it at the pale. Oh. Payment enough. Do I owe you anything? <laughs> Sorry, oh. give it. Sorry! <laughs> yeah, get, get fucked, Gavin. <laughs> and now I, I'm, I'm stuck. I can't even see. That's forever now. <laughs> I forgot I had a mule kick. 
Ah, oh, man, I got meal kick. Fucking dropped. He <laughs> fucking dropped on his knees. Well, um, Oscar also asking a lot of questions about what Alistair did at the school to um, keep everything stable as long as he oh. did, I suppose. Oh, he worked ritual magic, which was his specialty. Um, he had this sort of ritual... Fuck, your carver had a better reading on it than I did, but I'm pretty sure if you looked into it, you'd probably Fuck still see... Yeah. Okay! <laughs> if you looked into it, you'd probably still be able to find a lot of the, like, residual. But, basically, he worked in, like, a lot of different forms of magic. And then he overlaid it with dark magic. And it was like a seal. Actually, his journal's next to his tomb. Be on there. So. Poppy. Yeah? Mm. There's a skull outside, and it sounds really sad. What? Hmm? What? For fuck's sake. It's screaming. I think it's hurt. Is it Bob? No. Is what outside? I don't think so. A skull. It's fire. Which direction? Out the door. What? Uh, this one? Oh. This. The main door in. The snow door. <laughs> I did. I just beat the shit out of Gavin. Hey, me too. If it's sad and it's not hurting anyone, maybe... Oh, oh, oh I... It sounds like it's hurting. It's right here, but uh, I can buy the sign. There's a lot of necromatic magic over that. Hey, maybe I can feel that. Yeah, I can feel that. What do we do? Can we help it? I might suggest somebody to be able to delve a bit deeper. I can't really quite tell what this might well be. My first thought is to smash it, but I'm uh, going to let somebody else take charge. It sounds like it's hurt. Uh, Tavriel? Hmm? I don't know what I, I could do as a jerk and uh, necromatic. Anybody trying to sound a bit more about it through magic? I can test the necromantic magic all over it, but it's about it. I have an idea. There's a familiarity about this, but unsure. It seems like Hellfire. Hellfire? Yeah. There's flames coming in and around it. I think it's her. If it is a soul, we can always just, you know, do the wiggly fingered guardian thing that we've been doing. 
doesn't really give us a lot of answers as to what's happening here, but... <clears throat> It's surrounded in Hellfire, what does that mean? Uh, probably that it's in a lower, from one of the lower planes, or it's been tormented, or it popped off the head of one of the Pale Soldiers. I've, I really don't know. Hello, Mr. Skull? Could you tell us what's happening? Uh, how can we help? Can we help you? I don't like it when you scream. Is there some way we could bring peace to it? To you bury screaming well, skulls? Probably, but that would also sort of end any efforts at no, you communication just, or research in it. You guide them to their afterlife. Or well, at least help you. there's no access to afterlife here. You get stuck in the ethereal pocket, so why they get bottled. <laughs> I guess the best thing to do is to bottle the spirit then. We need one of Kiva's fairy bottles. Little fairy bottles for souls. Tempest, you ever talk to her about that? Sorry, I was looking very deeply at the skull. If you stare into the void too long, it'll stare back. Yeah, no, I figured it's player story. But we don't know who's player story, so it makes it a little bit difficult. I was gonna go home, but but now I'm scared. Now you know. I don't want to. I'm gonna put you in Kiva's house. Yeah, um, you, you are your, home. your home makes me really <laughs> uncomfortable whenever you talk about it. Maybe you, you're you're safer here. I like. <laughs> At least more entertained. Yeah, I guess so. I love Vesper. Hello there. Hi, Vesper. Look, hey, a skull. Hello, Vesper. Oh, hey, Vesper. <laughs> I was just at the Frost Temple. I believe I found another sigil there that's not charred. That's actually, I Good to know. like to ask you and um, Tempest about those later, if that's alright. There's currently a bit of a situation going on, though. I don't know, but I heard another group heading there now, so... Who knows? I just wanted to tell Poppy. Cool. Wait, what are they going there to do? I don't know. It Who's doesn't going concern there? me. Sorry, who did you say was going there? Oh, if I remember... Correctly, it was Chise and a bunch of her friends, or I don't know who she hangs out with, to be honest. But, well, yeah. they didn't invite us, so good for them. Well, I hope they're safe. Well, as the resident information gatherer of my court, I'm going to go gather information. So. He's going to go get in a fight because he got in fighting. Now? I don't think Why information gatherers something? say that. Uh, hey, Caspian. <laughs> Is... uh, stay safe. But I like mm. to stay dangerous. See, well, this he's I not trying to go gather much. information. He's trying to go fire. cause chaos. I'm tempted to go help. You know what this Caspian's going, I'm going to go. 
Make it stop. Wait, where where are they all going? I'm so sorry. Oh. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. It's all right. Where did everyone go? Fast temple. Oh. Well, a good number of us are still uh, here, so. <laughs> yes, Vesper just said that he thinks he found the a third sigil that needs to be charged. No, no, this. I believe I know who it's from, as I just had an interaction with them. Why they would leave it here, I have no idea. Can I keep it as a pit? Can you stop? Can you make it stop? I think it's just a skull with magic attached. I don't believe that it has a soul in itself. If you break it or, you know, disperse the magic, it should stop the wailing. Who, who is involved? I, I think it might be a person named Mr. Dread, but I, I don't know why you would leave it here. Take speak. Well, <laughs> some, some, some children where, where I come from used Oof. to do something like this. They would, Could be they a would prank. poop on, a, on, on people's ports and set it on fire. But this is nothing oh. like that. Maybe it's that no, with extra is... steps. It, it, to... It's cultural. It could be. But I would destroy it if I were you. It sounds awful. It Before sounds hurt. destroy it, do you think, in order to confirm who it is that left it here, or to at least try and determine who it is that left it here, ah. maybe wrap it in a bubble I, I, of magic on, so it on. stops screaming? It's sound. Let me deal with this. That, fair enough. Uh, in that case, people should probably back away. If, if I can 98% confirm it is from this person, but if you want to contain those awful sounds, please feel free. Why would said person leave it on our doorstep? Could be a prank, like Tavriel said. It could be far more sinister, like a mark of death, essentially a mark of assassination. I wonder if it might be the people who left us that shitty note on the board. Mm. I'm telling you, poo on fire with extra steps. What are you eating? Why do you. I'm not. I didn't make him. Oh. Sounds like okay. a nibble in the bay. Ah. Wow. Right. Yeah. Right. Thank you. It's, it's Bully Tavril Day, I see. Okay. Okay, it's just it's just no, like, about this. Sure it's, yeah. it's, bull, it's bully cave saying day from what I do. <laughs> well, I appreciate you guys. Oh, thanks. Okay. That's what are for. Oh, hey, we should give him back a curse for this bullshit. Nah, every time he says no, a fish tail falls on his head. I mean, it's not it's not a curse, right? He said there's not a soul in it. Just an elaborate. I'm taking it very much as a shitty message. Hmm. I, I don't know. Maybe he meant Somebody... something by it. We should maybe ask him before jumping to conclusions. And quiet. With some of these threats that seem to have been made recently, it's not an unfair assumption. Much better now. But, uh, I do agree with Tav that... Um, Poppy, uh, okay, so Poppy's very more. specific brand of personal is magic is sound. Right? If it has to do with sound, I don't make rolls. Or she can bottle sound, she can, like, steal voices, but that's, that's a willing bargain. Like, that's... So she just put the sound in a bottle Does because it's know annoying to people. I don't really care. 
you can't tell me how my character feels. Uh, this is not great, like, RP for us. It's kind of a shit on our doorstep, like the note that somebody left on the board. Well, I can remove the POI. All right. So, thanks for admitting that you did it, country. We don't really appreciate people shitting on our doorstep and not leaving any clue for vandalism. Do we go to the frost or no? No. Uh, I could, go over there right <laughs> could right now. but you risk, um, well, you know what the risk is, you know, people's uh, general attitudes lately. Yeah, everybody's so mean. I don't know if mean is the right word. Stupid, um, suddenly very, um, hell empathetic uh, I, I don't i don't know mentally challenged well people have been mean to me why why would they be mean to yeah. you they're trying to get in my pants that's what calypso says yeah it's a little bit un oh. uncomfortable some of the things that people have said uh... who said what uh... are you all right are you okay that's that's uncalled for. That's they fucking terrible. Like that. Who dares to disrespect a woman like that? No, really, though. Who, who I mean, said something? You yeah. disrespect anybody like that. So. Yeah. <clears throat> well, Riker was dying. He had necrosis in his arm and I needed to heal it and he wouldn't let me heal it and he said he would trade it, that I could heal it for a kiss and I said, well... <sighs> A kiss isn't important to me. Uh, life is, so I treated a kiss to heal him to save his life. You should have then... just let him die. <laughs> Poppy, you are, you are. It's those violence this morning, actually. <laughs> no, the man fucking blackmailed this woman into a kiss, to because he refused healing. Wait, who did? That's bullshit. Like, uh... Riker. Fucking Riker's, Riker. Riker's just Riker. Don't take him seriously. Yeah, except he blackmailed her into kissing him. What? Is that true? He literally what? just missed what just... said, Tucker. You missed everything they just said. What do you do? <laughs> oh, yeah, I will get the brain in the game. Okay, well, I'm sorry. Then he picked me do, up and do took I need me away. To beat him up? Do I need to beat him up? Yes, probably. I will. I'm going to shove my fucking mm. heel up his ass. Was it you? Shut the fuck up. What? what? Okay. You said he I... took you away. I apologize. Oh, there's something going on. I need to go for. I need to go for a bit. Are you alright? Do you need help healing? Yes, I'm fine, but something else is wrong. Take, take, take us yeah. with you. Take me at least. I have a connection with Shannon. Something. I wrong. figured that. That's exactly what okay. I was thinking. Let us All, help right. You All right. right, we'll go. We'll, we'll need to find we'll go out. Go San is a friend. I would like to help. I'm going to suggest maybe we start at the fucking Doctors. temple. All right, let's go. The temple. She is somewhere cold. Ability of death. Somewhere where there's shit. no. All right, let's go. I... Somewhere where there's no what, Eleanor. to kidnap your spouse. Um, do you wish to go to this temple? I mean, I'm... I don't like... Tavriel, can you give me some indoor elements because I'm not clothed for this shit? Yes. Thank uh... you. I do not know if she's in the temple or if she is somewhere else. All I know is, right now, she's we'll somewhere. Find her. She's somewhere wet. 
Somewhere cold. Somewhere where it is snowing. Here. That's where we are. It's cold and snowy. Oh, shit. Uh, I'll follow you there are two north. places. There are two places that I, I can think of. There is one place we must look before we go to the temple. The altar? Or where? Actually, two. She built a home. Yeah. In the yes, snow. Yes, I just adopted her yesterday. She can't get hurt. Not allowed. We're gonna have to speak about the curfew after this. Like I said, Villanoir, follow you. Yes. Well, I'll lose him immediately. I'm definitely taller. You're definitely a little taller. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh. <laughs> Someone on a broom. And I see people up ahead. I think there's the other half of the party. <laughs> uh, I'm And I, uh... We can take care of that shortly. We have a thing to attend to. If you care to come, you can. That's the time where you use the I don't care if you come or stay, but I am going. Where Line. do you want to check first, Bellamy? <clears throat> where her old home was. No. Hold on. Let me reach out and see if I can so find any more. Alright. Can we assist yep. you in this? Kiss bubble. It's a good thing I got at least some what some more sleep, I guess. The Witcher's place or her old home. Uh, well, I was just there at their place. That's where I saw. Oh, the skull might have been. Because that person is dead. I think everything's tying together a bit right now. We should check that. Hmm. Where yes, you want to the go, Witcher's we'll place go first. You. The Witcher's place first, I think. Okay. And then we have to go up in that way, though. Also, I have no idea where they do, so... Is it near the way. embassy? That, that, that's not the way to the Witcher's place. That's not the way, it's, it's this way. Where's Where's the place the it would be quicker to go through the caravan or to just go straight there. Let's fly straight there. Fly right. straight there. What? Can you carry me? Yeah. Who else can't fly? Where are we going? Okay. Follow Tempest. Okay.
just realised we've probably ditched a good number of the people. Uh, what's hookah? <gasps> I love hookah. I, I was having some earlier up here. It's uh, well, you could put. He's making some cheese herbs or tobaccos. Yes. What flavour? Explain it. Properly? Okay, so it's a water pipe. So there is um, a bowl that you put whatever you're going to smoke in, and then you cover it with like a piece of metal with holes in it. And mm -hmm. then you put on top of that hot coals that'll heat the thing that you're smoking up. And mm -hmm. at the bottom of this bowl, there's a pipe. Uh. And the pipe will, when you will go down into a bowl of water, and in the bowl of water, there's another, like a tube that you pull air through. And when you pull air through and breathe it in, you get cooled smoke from whatever it is in your bowl. Usually you can make some quite lovely flavours. Yeah, and shisha is tobacco they just soaked in molasses of various flavors sometimes like f like uh like my personal favorite is double apple mint but you can have it in like strawberry or orange or lilac or what whatever you like really you can make it taste like whatever so where is Bellinor? there he is you feel like we're getting closer somehow. Oh my head. I look a wall that is not particularly effective mm -hmm. because people fly. <laughs> right. I mean, even if people don't fly, they can just see me along the way. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. Building wall walls is hard, okay? Ding. It's like my... How do I fix my spine? It feels like I'm, like, on an angle. Um, do you want to make sure you don't have any sort of fancy footwork and how you're devious about yourself? Because that is, honest to God, what causes all of the weird footwork. So, how do I fix it? Uh, how you might set yourself, you would disable foot IK. Both of them. Oh, hello. Hi, is oh, Shannon hello. here? No. Uh, no such luck, Bellinor. Apparently, how Shannon... How the fuck Shannon be here? I don't know. Where to next, Bellinor? Oh, you're trying to find Shannon. Oh, you won't be able to find her. And why is that? Uh, when she doesn't want to be found, she won't be found. Maybe by you. <laughs> How do you uh, know it's that? my job to track people. I, uh, when she does not want to be found, she cannot be found. Where to next, Bellinor? But good luck. Mm-hmm. Also, please don't kill my dog over there. What dog? That's a dragon. That's, that's, that's not a dog. dragon. Or Drake. A... It's a... That's Bessie. Okay, we're following Delanor. Oh. I've seen dragons, it's not a dragon. Black I had a friend. snow. Black. Do we know where there is black snow? Why well, okay, assume... Black. Black ice? Maybe? No, 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 no. I would think it would be where the ash falls onto the snow. High up on the passes. That other snow is black for another reason. Black blood. There was black blood on the snow where she bled in front of the Frost Temple. Mm-hmm. She was here. I'm assuming toward the volcano. Do you want to go up this way or scouted by flight? Uh, probably by flight, it should be quicker. Okay. 
Especially because we don't have to dodge lava. Tavriel. Dog, or he'll be very cruel. Tav. Oh. You got to go get Tavriel. He's he's ding there, ding dong. No, no, you got to get Tavriel because he's ding donged and decided he's like hanging out over there. Forever. <laughs> Right, is he coming? I will, I'll get him. No, he's not coming. <sighs> Would I have to pull my bracelet to fix this, uh... What's going on? spinal issue. Uh... It's like my spine, I, I, uh... I don't know, it's like, uh, when I'm walking, it's like I'm... That's all I can think of. Okay, hang on. That whole spiel happened. Um, and then ever since then, she's been distant from everyone. I saw her in town like an, an hour ago. She, she said she was just gone. Tempest. And not wanting to find anyone. Come on. Yes. She's hiding. She's not. Like... Mm. All right. Oh, thank you, Ramsey. So I'll, I'll return. He was telling me that she doesn't want to be found. That might be true, but I kind of don't care if he's she's causing an issue, an injury, because she's connected to Bell and all, then let's deal with it. Right. Bell and all? Right, so we're too. Is that a cave there? Come on. I might, I guess I might pull a bracelet instead. I'm trying to pry into her mind. I'm trying to use my will to see through her eyes. Do you have anything that belongs to her? Basically a scry cut. Yeah, you use it as a compass. Mm -hmm. Damn it, Tavriel, quit ding donging or whatever she called it. <laughs> what did I do? You ding donged and we left you behind. I had to go and get you and carry you like a princess. It's pretty comfy. Can I stay here? <laughs> yes. Thank you. What are you eating this time? He told her something. I can see flashes in her mind. Lies. That Hotel. rat. That piece of shit. The one called Ramses. Ah. What about Ramses? He just spoke to me back there and he said that Shannon specifically does not want to be found by you. Yes, because he has told her lies. Do you have anything that belongs to her? As a matter of fact, I do. Well, come here. What you damn love? Thank you. I'm gonna go see if I can't find Astrid and Apollo. Um, mm -hmm. I'll peek. 
if I need to find out where we are. Of course, love. I like your veil, Poppy, by the way. Very nice. We need water. And a bowl to hold it. to do then it's ah why must you fly just this way far away forever i want to get down <laughs> okay i'm on the ground wonderful the item there or if it is too big then we will make a mimicry and focus on her we will use it as a compass Do I even want to know? Do you? No, probably not. Top diamond. Ignore that. Ignore that. It's not there. No, no man, buddy. You okay? You can leave, you lying rat. I mean, uh, first of all, you're on the porch of my home. No, I, just, I was just I'm having issues with my legs. Don't be so hostile there, champion. Alright. Very confused on what the fuck you're talking about. You know full well. Do I? I don't think I do. What exactly have I have a lot about? I'm just raising my hand here. No. What's what's going on? I cool. can you please oh, all the down with the Drake? It's Kim Kim can fight him quicker. Yeah, he doesn't like me being threatened. Were you threatened? Bellinor essentially said, Bessie, come You have not go. been threatened. You essentially did. You're on my front doorstep saying you can fuck off. It's a threat. Girls, calm down. I know you're feisty. Calm yourself. Just give it a good tranquilizer or something. You know, put it to sleep. He's luring away the, um, Snow. the drake. The crevice. Snowfield. The hills of the crevice. 
Is that Mike? Like, that's what I'm saying. Snowfield Hills of the Crevice. Not Mike any. We're not far. Do you recognize that? <clears throat> I'm like, I'm gonna go ahead and just... You see it? Just give this a little champ. Get the potion. We need to scry it again. We can. He <laughs> actually hit his villain hard. Bubbles like too D it throws you off so bad. <laughs> That's all we're going to get at the moment. this place look familiar to you at all. Uh, does anybody else recognize it? Tempest! Why, we are the most zony outy people I've ever fucking met. <sighs> uh, what are the images being seen? I'm, I'm having an issue, sorry. An actual... There we go, I could see better. The snow-filled hills of the crevice. This is what it looks like. Yes. Flashes of snow. Yes, isn't it that is not far snow. from here? Where? Do, Do you, you know where? Do you it? The chasm is right below my feet. Just... Nothing. Can we go back to, to the house? I don't know why it's ideal. Definitely. I was going to go to the house, but I'm in intrigued with it. Oh, I like this season. I'm just doing mine. Mm. Yell at me if something attacks. I, I, I feel like it would go. Okay. I, it's it's that way, right? The chasm? Uh, I don't know. We'll follow you. Grab the, grab the stuff. Let's go. Yeah, if you just go directly below my teeth, you'll find the chasm. But was it scry? Uh, yes. Yes, it was. Come on, no mess. There we go. I no, can't see my pockets, pocket. but I can still hail. Yeah. Okay, good. I might go down a bit so we can see a bit better. But it should be straight this way. Is 
things and sometimes you just need a little bit of water and some ice and then just you know basic bitch casting of scry it was a directional scry we actually got more than i expected i i always prepare one one uh, lucky person what is that every day. it's a yeti uh, it's a yeti yeti oh let me know if you want me to use it yeah honestly uh, yeah, i was I are you alright? Because you've been, you've been, what is it, ding-donging? Ding-donging, yeah. What's Maybe I just want to be held. <laughs> <laughs> but having Jar Poppy be kind of cool thing Poppy uses when she casts Bubble would be funny. Maybe Listen. Not just a ding-dong. I need the... Ding, it's a bong. Dong, you're a dong. Are you alright? <laughs> it's not that much work. <laughs> Did you have some fine whiskey? Uh, I'm making him a special order. You know, specially concentrated versions. Yes, I think we need something stronger than the fine whiskey. It, it almost worked at seeing that, but I, I don't know. You oh, it's, gonna, that, but... it's gonna be extra, con extra concentrated, so it'll fuck him up. I lost it out of the group. Tav? Hmm? Why are you calling me your daddy? What? I did say that. I thought it was more than the mountains. That cat is. Glimpses of wow. crevasses of the west. Like yeah, of the I thought it was more, yeah, it was, it was more the cre the crevice towards, like, the big cave in the mountains. Maybe? There could Those be. Hills? Tavriel, you know what would help? If you would use your very fast wings and help fly around to scout. That would Listen, be fantastic. He's not that fast. If I, if, if I'm a bother, just... Just drop me, I just need to be still for a while. No, it's fine. It's much more fun to tease you. Alright, let's try the crevice. Oh. Do you need to be carried, Bellinor? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna carry you. I cast levitate. No, I don't, because you do not consent to be being touched. So let me carry you. Let me be big, strong goblin. Uh. Aha. There we go. Big, strong, powerful goblin. <laughs> so strong. <gasps> Squish. <laughs> My eyes. <laughs> I Can you even head. see Poppy? No, he's he on the mount today. He's he's the shoulder pit. Uh, he's just kind of directing you by the hair. Gabriel <laughs> with his halo. <laughs> I did not know though if she is in or on top of these hills, or if this is even the right place per se. Yeah, uh, these the hills over here. Yeah. What about up that walkway, uh, path? Has she got a history with this area around here, or no? She has a history with that rat. Oh. Amazing. Okay. I cannot see who hurt her, but he has been hurting her the last few days. Doing what? By using her emotions to sleep with her. And why does this hurt you? Like when she's hurt, I'm, I'm confused. Did you this you soul bond or something like that? Yes, we are. Oh no, I was being sarcastic. I wasn't expecting you to say yes. I gave her a piece of me, and she a piece of her. 
congratulations on the marriage, I guess? <laughs> I survived. Mostly. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Okay, we're fine. I'll just um, uh, ding ding. Dong dong. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't know exactly what all of it is, but that's... Now I might not be okay. Yeah. Why did you take damage and I didn't? I'm having a bad day. I'm sorry. My princess. So this is where I thought it was, it was here. This was also where I thought it might be. There is one more place over the hill in D12. The bottom right corner. I cannot tell who exactly spoke to her, but I believe it was him. I know that a friend, someone she is close to, told her lies. Said I called her nothing more than a good fuck. Yes, because Bellinor is known to talk like that. I am trying now to feed my mind into her so she can see everything. Every thought, every conversation, every memory that I have of her. Uh, there, to okay. the right. And the goats involved. But why? Give me just a moment to speak yeah. to her. What? Yeah, no. I'm gonna f speak with this goat. Paid to stop Bellinor. Maltia. Priestess. Maybe. What do you want, Lyra? Liar. Liar. What lie have I told? Mm. What have you said? What rumor was given? I trust him. He would not lie to me. So why did you say that? Why would I say what? I why would not... Why would you talk about us like that in town? I 
would never. I don't believe my own, my own family did not know that we were even seeing each other for three days. Why would I speak of you publicly? Why I would I be know. careless like that? Why would you? I would not. Never. Not in pri private. Please. Not in public. You don't need to believe me. You can see my thoughts. My memories. When I ask all you. All of it. You wouldn't answer if you asked, would you? What? When I asked you at first, you would not answer. As if you were annoying. That is not true. I did answer. I have been trying to find you. Until Poppy was kind enough to carry me. Trying to hold our connection and fly at the same time. I'm sorry if I did not answer as quickly as I would have liked. I do not know who told you these things, or why, or whom they heard them from.
I do think you said this, even though you say you didn't. And why would her friend lie? A friend she's known longer than you. <laughs> A friend she trusts with her life. Why would they lie that they heard you say that in town? I can imagine you would say that about her or the love that you have for her. This is not my quarrel, but forgive me, is this friend Ramsey's? No. Cars. No, understood. I'm fine, she's known a very long time. Tell me. Lie to me again. Tell her you didn't tell her to say that. When was Karas involved? Damn. That is... That's a good question. <laughs> Say she was a good fucking town. I have never known Bellinor to speak such foul language. Eleanor is a good character. I thought fine and dandy that both of you could say that, but you live with him. No doubt. I've only known him for a week. He could be conniving. He could be a trick. I don't know the difference. And after being told after the other. Rumors and lies and slander. She doesn't know who to believe now. Doesn't know who to choose now. Doesn't want to love. Wants to be rid of all. All those emotions. Wants to be rid of your soul essence as well. You can take it back, can't you? Take it back. I would never. You have a husband, Lyra. I don't believe you. And what have I done to earn this mistrust? Have I not always told you, even when painful? The truth and nothing more. Have you told the truth? God, just pain. <laughs> Maybe you want to hurt yourself. I don't know whom this friend is or what they are to you. They are a very dear friend. Chorus has been in and out of the cave That's many times. Chorus and Shannon go way back. Way back. And I'd like to think that he would lie about what he heard about what you said about her town. Maybe we I can... have never spoken of her in town. Why would he tell her then? That you said she was a good fuck outside of town. Why would he ever hear you specifically speak this? 
I don't it's think a good question. I do not even know he's... who he is. You don't need to know who he is. She trusts him. So why did you say it? I would never. Okay. How easy it is to manipulate somebody you love. Or seem to care to. The word has power, doesn't it? I do not wield power for gain. I use it to heal. I use it to mend. Can imagine anyone would want a murderer to heal people. Yeah, we're starting it out. What are you starting in the argument about today? Flaming Most piles trust. of shit. Tell the truth. Yeah, I'm just start fucking arguments in my chat today. So I have no fucking clue what's happening, I and it is wild. Have never. Maybe be easier to go find Karis and sort this out. Go find him then, and do something useful. Okay, rude. I'm your friend. No need to be hostile. All you're doing is watching. If you want to go find him, then do it. All right. Well, you stay here and don't kill nobody. Please and thank. No promises. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Let's, let's, let's not resort to murder. She, she cannot. You can go. I ah. cannot kill him. I mean, a bargain, I would never kill him. Unfortunately. That's a shame. I have to do that. He'll be alright. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> Uh, yep, I'm gonna find him. Let her hurry. <laughs> Wild.
Ha. Pardon me, but have any of you seen Chorus? Who's that? This man has been around since the first day. How does nobody know what he fucking looks like? I don't know, maybe because well, for the longest time I wasn't really able to leave the tavern the without things time. fucking breaking loose. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, I um I haven't seen him. Yeah, so his friend and or ex wife and or I'm not exactly sure of the relationship. Shannon is uh on a bender and there's apparently some Someone's lying in and I'll need to find him because a thing and some stuff and also apparently maybe Astrid's been taken. I don't fucking know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I guess they're going to the Frost Temple. That was what I heard in town. Oh, I don't fucking know. <laughs> no clue. To try to save somebody or they believe Astrid, to... I guess, was taken. So, yeah. Again. Yeah, was she taken just... before? Two days ago, two and a half days With ago? With Jezebeth, yeah. Two days ago, yeah. Who is talking? <laughs> Sorry, me right in front of you? Or the no, other one I, I, I know Nathan's talking. Nathaniel's Look talking. Oh. That there's. Why are you. Oh. Listen, there's a horrible place to sit. But yeah, a couple days ago, she was taken with Jezebeth, and we had to go to the torture room to get them out. And that's where Astrid lost her eye. The things you don't hear when you don't... Oh my god, never mind. I don't know. Fuck it. Um... No? Have you seen... Have you seen Chorus? Who? <sighs> Chorus! Black infernal, so. big huge tail. Don't think so. <sighs> I don't even know where else I would look. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, oh, hello, girl. yeah, Astrid may or may not have been taken. Blah 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 blah. I have no idea what's happening. It's pretty normal. Have a good day, don't get murdered. All the normal good, good stuff.
but what is what do you what I understand? And how did you get that? Uh, we all fought war as a big old group, and then a bunch of people got marked. Okay. King was there, so he can probably explain more to you. And how did you get war to come out? Um, people from the library were filling the sigils with each type of magic because each sigil needs to be filled with each type of magic. So, like, uh, dark, divine, uh, elemental, nature, and arcane. So, exactly what we were doing yesterday. Yes, but I don't know. It was, I don't know. <laughs> I just went because I was curious. Oh, I get it. I'm just extremely irritated. It's fun. Nothing to do with you. I think perhaps the, that plan would have, and I'm not like trying to criticize or anything. I just think if we waited instead of attacking, we might have got the same result that just happened today yesterday but I can't confirm that that is just a thought no I don't think anything we would have done yesterday would have gotten us the same result even if we did exactly the same thing apparently the stars just weren't in alignment it fuck us I guess oh well a bunch of the people from your from cave side were there so they might have also got marked and that's fine. I, I don't... That's great. Uh, Just... three days. Three days. Three okay. Days. And then, then I believe we go actually fight war for its skull. And that's according to who? War. I... I can't express enough how stupid it is to be taking directions from the enemy. I just can't even I'm express not it. taking directions, no, 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 I'm no, just no, telling no, no. you what she said. I, I understand that, but it is so infuriating that we're just being led around by the nose hairs. Like, anytime the pale says jump, everybody's like, how high? Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. I just kind of showed up and watched what they were doing, and then war popped up, and I was like, oh, well, guess we're fighting now. Chorus, I need you. Oh, look, I found the person you were looking for. I did it. Yeah, uh, Shannon is, uh, yeah, come on. I need you to come with me. Uh, Frostbridge. Kind of semi urgent as I'm pretty sure she's trying to kill someone. I don't See really you know. Later, Chorus. Bye, All person. Right. Frostbridge, please. Where are we going? Frostbridge. I don't, I don't know. I have no idea what happened. I have no idea what you said or she said or he said, but Jen and... You want to know the whole story? No, I want you to fucking have it out with them so you, they could stop trying to kill each other and I don't care who's a fucking liar, but I just really... The he said, she said, we said thing is not my game. So I figured... Not mine either. You could probably speak for yourself. Yeah, I'll speak for yeah. myself. I don't mind. Yeah, that, that was kind of like what I figured. I was like, y'all can hear shit out instead of he said, she said. I 
on the bright side, the story is progressing. Wow. Exactly is happening at the moment. He's uh, just trying to kill someone. Priestess and Bellinor are on a, a fucking bender, and I don't understand literally any of this, but apparently you're involved, so yep, you can. Yeah, that, that's about the context I have. I'm sorry. Well, this is gonna be fun. Um, I'm real sorry. <laughs> least told me i didn't know i don't know what the fuck is happening all right uh -huh. goat the goat is also very mad at someone i don't know who well it's a dead goat now town and uh, I heard an individual um, just about prancing through the town stating that off to get a good fuck do da or something along those lines um, almost chanting it I said who the hell are you talking about and the individual ignored me and walked away and then I had a conversation with Shannon earlier today seeing that these two were coming close and that was expressed and I felt it not right to not say a word. So I stated what I heard. And that was it. Who did you speak to? I did not see you yesterday. It was a few days ago at this point. I still have not seen you in days. The only memory I have of you was yesterday. Me. So I don't expect you to remember me. I have never used these words. I don't know what you want me to say. That is what I heard and that is what I know. Sure, it was Bellinor. I'm fairly certain, yes. Not another dark oh. wood figures. No. I do not ignore those who address me. Who are you referring to? You kept running. 
Sorry, I missed that. Say that again. I said, who are you referring to? And you kept running. I have never said those things. I do not know who you saw. It was not me. I don't know of any other way to prove it. I was doing he said, she said, matter. At this point, it's up to Shannon what she does at this point. It seems like she's already decided. You have no proof of your claim. How am I supposed to prove words? Your mind can be pried at. My mind can be pried at, huh? If you allowed it. By whom? I'm not going to let you do it. Someone of Ch Shannon's choosing. Well, if that's what she wishes to do, then I'll see what I am willing to accept in that matter. I'm not one to lie. Never lied to Shannon up until this point. Never lied to any of these people. I do point. not believe that you did not hear what you claim. I do not believe it came from me. All right, then. I have n never uttered those words. So what do we wish to do here, then? Somebody to look in your mind, then. Depends on the person. Who would be willing to do this? It would depend on the person, yeah. Which one of you would like to volunteer? Anyone? Mom? What do you need? Dad. Somebody to look in his mind. I don't know how to look through memories. Tempest? I can look through them if they are freely given. Easily enough. But that is entirely up to him. I, I find the entire thing unnecessary, but I will do it for Shannon, and I will do it if the man allows it. I find it unnecessary as well, but if it is proof that you seek, then I have nothing to hide. Will you permit me to look at what is freely given, sir? You have every right to say no. I, I will not force such a thing. What would it entail? A spell and a glance. 
but only at the things you're willing to show. Spell and what, I'm sorry? A glance. Just simply... A slight touch. A glance in. And again, only the things you're willing to reveal. I will not dig in your mind. All right, then. Who's going to stand witness? Because I do not believe Shannon or Bellinor should. I stand witness. somewhere or do it here if you have the time might as well do it here with everyone like I said it's much easier if the if they are freely given you seem very willing to reveal these things so I know what it hurt I know what I saw of the matter being, if people must have proof by looking into my mind, then, well, I think it shows more about the character than it does about me. Well, if that's what's needed and that's what's required, then fine. Simply stand nearby and witness. I can. Um, if you hold my other hand, I can potentially transfer the images to you so you see what I see. Okay, she's got a spell on. May not be as clear, but. Just sounds brief flickers.
Yeah, 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 she is an endure element spell on, don't worry about it.
Um, okay. So Kara stated that he saw her Bellinor call Shannon a good fuck. And they're doing a memory probe on Karis, and she, Shannon did a memory probe on Bellinor, and they're both in conflict. Yeah, exactly. Listen, I can... I'm about to log in. I hope, I really hope that I get to meet more people and start having some... Ar Atreus, who are, or Arius, who are you playing? Eighty first. Oh yeah, no, I, I stream as long as I'm. Uh, am I streaming Nightingale or Conan? No, I'm streaming Conan. Sir, shit the bed. <laughs> Listen, I, I was playing, I was playing Nightingale, and then I got dragged into RP today. So, um, and I stream Conan as long as I'm RP. Like I don't play unless I'm streaming strictly to cover my own ass for stuff like this right i don't like having to deal with he said she said behaviors so i stream everything i rp um so i probably got a, a, an hour or two left at least might maybe more A bean! Okay, we'll show the bean. You're in another Conan server. Why she play Conan all the time? Do you roleplay? We not need a die. You are not the father! Well, welcome. Gotta dig out the bean. What server is up besides this one? The little bean. What would you like a doodle of, Stray? Yeah, Isles of Arcanum. I've never heard of that server. Is it a text server? Is that why? Because, like, I don't know a lot of text servers. Is going to? I thought Lost Legends ended. Could have, maybe they came back up? Lost Legend, I think, just exists indefinitely. It's text RP. Oh, okay. That would make sense. Thur, what do you want a picture of? What do you want a shitty dude to love? Man, they, they just go and go and go. They have such long seasons. It's a bean! Okay, I can I can do it's a bean. I want a shitty doodle too. Okay, well, we'll see what we can fit into the, the, the break. So, we'll draw a hand. Oh my god, I, I fucked up. a hit there i redeemed it what do you want to do to love luna wait a minute okay hand fingers i understand how hands work hand hand arm okay body uh i'm not drawing what i'm wearing right now it's fine <laughs> Oh. It's a bean. Bean. <laughs> Doctor Boom. <laughs> Never mind of light. Uh, is it hi sisty? Is it me or missing something or else in the back preventing me from using base cone and sorcery teleports? No, you're not supposed to. I think it's don't use them. They they're server crashing. Bean. Um, it is somewhere. I don't think it's in the main rules, but it is somewhere, so you'll get bapped for it. I just need to know what happens when the Bellinor at this point. I don't find out how it ends. I'm going to worry about it all day. <laughs> I got it. A doodle of poppy bandaging. Tab. I got that. I will get to it in a second. I gotta just save that one. I 
no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause you at that one because, okay. Uh, tab, we have to get, draw the silver angel. What do you want, crime? Sad angel. I understand how bodies work. Look, he's, he's definitely wearing pants. It's like a toga or something. And he's got his, his little fucking angel wings. And then we just like gremlin, <laughs> Ben, Ben, Bellinar. Tm. No, I saw them, ref. I listen. I don't know, man. It it seems really weird because like this is another one of those. Oh, see, people are disagreeing. He's Benavir. <laughs> what does that mean? Okay, and then we have a goblin. A goblin, little a little goblin angel up here. She was in pink that day, I think. Thank you for the sub, Kenobi. What his name is, I started calling him Bellinor. Pink and hot black. I wish it was like easier to, to draw. Here, this is what we're gonna do. do an outline on it because white on white is hard dr. boom <laughs> give me some apps okay. there you go <laughs> I'm with Bella we're not gonna lie is goes hard perfect <laughs> dr. boom I like how she just like flies at his face too. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's it's silly. <laughs> Sign the cast. <laughs> now I have to draw like Bellinor. I'm just gonna draw like somebody sad in the snow, like sad sad void sounds. Just gonna draw sad emo void sounds. Okay. Now I can actually draw him as I've drawn his aura. Sad void sounds. Listen, Bellinor started dating Shannon <laughs> and immediately turned into a villain. It was like immediately villain. And I was like, what is happening here? Just wild. <laughs> what I miss? Um, Bellinor went through puberty. So Bellinor is being accused if not even cheating he's not even being accused of cheating he's being accused of saying she's a good fuck in town Karis overheard him um Karis is told Shannon who Bellinor is dating and now Shannon is trying to kill him I think and both of them have been mind probed 
<laughs> I know, right? That's the wild part. And so all I can figure is, like, if he said this, it's heard out of context. Because I don't think... See, but here's the thing. I don't think either one are lying. I don't think either one of them are lying. I think something is missing, right? I think there's some context missing. And even if he did say it, we're going to get the same thing. We're going to get the same two stories, right? I don't think either one of them is lying. I think something is out of context, right? That's all I can figure. Because who the fuck would Belinor even say that to, right? Like, the truth is somewhere in between, right? Who the fuck would Belinor say she's a good fuck to? In before I come rolling in. Karis, it was more like he said it to himself or running off. Like, it, it's so weird, right? It's such a weird like, what? We need Pale's couples therapy. And it's like you are truth and you can't cast it on. So that's the thing, right? I don't think either one of them are lying. I don't think that. I think there's some context that's missing here. episode on days of our lives right <laughs> sad boy it sounds <laughs> but like here's what poppy's gonna say is that a bad thing to say about someone that you like listen poppy's gonna be like is that a bad thing to say about somebody that you like like if, if king said that about me should i be offended Poppy having been an, is an asexual creature and has never had sex. It's even with her husband. <laughs> Which is canonically lore, both his headcanon and mine, if we talked about it. Yeah. The canoodling book? No, like that. That's th We're going to turn this into a comedy so fucking fast. For praises to the fucking sky. What do you mean? Yeah. Yeah, so. I don't know. Today I had somebody tell me that my was RPing wrong. That the way I RPed was wrong. And that I was disrespecting their RP. Even though they left a flaming pile of shit on my doorstep. <laughs> she can get busy. Listen, Poppy is an asexual creature. She doesn't understand because her kind don't reproduce you sexually as as rep very well knows right um rep no listen a house of fairies who are all sexually confused that's weird no no an area <laughs> the goat is upset poppy's poppy's just gonna ask this question like is that a bad thing to say about somebody you like? Is the asexual club all my homies love my ptosis? Well, she, okay. So, like, Poppy has what she calls a mom and a dad, but they're the two fey that bartered a contract. And because they both accused the other one of breaking it, but neither one of them did, neither one of them could hold it, and so you got Poppy. He just used to do the wake up wiggles. You're a wiggle. I, I am extraordinarily a wiggle, okay? Can you express yourself? Can you stretch your fingers? Can you speak? The 
hate the days of our lives. <laughs> Listen, listen, Poppy's love story is not base of our lives. Poppy's love story is what happens if you take a sexually oblivious fae who does not understand the concept of love and accidentally put them in a marriage with a very grumpy dwarf. <laughs> a lot of monster hunter elder dragons straight up just split apart when they have enough energy and that's how I imagine Poppy creating a second Poppy. <laughs> gave him a dead bird <laughs> she did she gave him river rocks last night the night before she gave him a dead bird and a bowl of rings the night before she put a bowl of pasta where we would step in the morning like she's trying <laughs> like she's trying <clears throat> This much tab in the dick. So you know. <sighs> Broke her hand because it's a metal dick. Poppy shows up to King. Found this book of names you put down. L love. King looks at the book. Noticing it's a book of grudges. <laughs> Oh my god. has no goats dead again he didn't serve his family pockets hate to see it dude the goat was shin and rebound bring him back
No. Huh. She's really running. Abby, they're running. Let it go. Alright. If you wish to go, it's fine. But I think a matter of broken hearts is not something I can help with. Two truths told from different points of view. Reality is somewhere in the middle, right? <clears throat> Not much I don't to think be... I can help much either. Not much to be done when a heart hurts. Not sure. Do you and Bella ever have that date? Uh, no. She hasn't woken up since. Hope she's doing alright. I hope so too. But when I first ran into her, I actually uh, experienced something I never experienced before. Like what? I don't know. A weird fluttering same way I felt with Adelheim. I don't know. It's kind of new. Was kind of new. I don't know. I figured I'd just let the feeling go with Adelheid and just try to be her friend. Mm. Yeah. Of course, I don't really understand why every time I see Adelheid, she kidnaps me. <laughs> In a know. good way. I don't know. She enjoys your company, maybe. Uh-huh. Yeah. Actually, we can probably just go right home. Now that I think about it, we don't really need to take the carriage back. Ah, sure. Uh, Kiva and uh, Thurak are opening up a small clinic. Everyone, and the mother is there's a clinic. Mm hmm. I don't think it's particularly useful other than treating people who are injured at home. Ah, uh, true. I guess at some point tonight I'm gonna pop over there and give them a couple medical journals that uh, I found. I don't know too much about medicine. Mm -hmm. uh, I know how to make salves and uh, how to set broken bones and whatnot. And use my magic to heal. But... I know how to take memories away, steal voices and faces. But that's not really medicinal unless it's medicine of the heart. And even then, it's not good treatment. Just a thing people like to sell. 
Um, I mean, you might be the uh, a doctor of the mind. Oh, I wouldn't call it doctoring. It's usually someone desperate to be rid of something. You know, when people wish to be rid of memories, it's because they wish to bury them. And oftentimes, mm, they run further than they should. But... I like memories of being tortured by the pal. Most of the time it was memories of other people, honestly. It was what they usually uh. tried to sell. <clears throat> Still kind of new with make, um, making deals with models. I it's always my business, so... Oh, you're the expert here. Yeah. I I gave Paisley some uh, Fay uh, whiskey, and then I just said, "You just owe me a favor." <laughs> she get terribly uh, euphoric. Yeah. Honestly, I kind of think we should just destroy this. I... I need to have something that negative around. said war has taken a liking to her these are part of her in well in Astrid hello pup why why crash that skull and got rid of it good <sighs> Astrid's been taken by war I I I I, I don't like, you don't understand? I, I understand she seems to be the one that they're worthy of her, but... Like I said, war sees a part of herself in Astrid. She wants to test her ability. One on one, without Just interruptions, to see if what she sees in her is right. This is how war works. Right on me. Yeah. Um. Is stuff back at the cave side, Smithy? I don't know. Um. 
Poppy's back. It's how wool picks. Yeah, just give me a second. I need to rub my Yes. I chose. Right. Well, I have faith in her. As do I. Astrid is a very, very fierce warrior. I, I know that she can do this. Or just have to keep the faith as she battles through these endless trials that war will put her through. Odin will keep her safe, I know it. I can see if I can rally other houses to go rescue her. No. If you will read the notes, War does not want her to be interrupted. She's going to go through trials. One on one. Yeah, she's got to do this by herself. We cannot interfere. It is only up to Astrid now to save herself. As horrible as that is, the only thing we can do is just pray that she survives these endless trials I know she's about to face. said I know she's a fierce warrior I know she'll be able to take care of this and I know Odin's going to be watching her Excuse me one second. 
Of course. I need to go see someone, but I will be back. Take your time. Oh, be back for the uh, if it if it is ready, I'll be back for it. If I don't see you, I uh, will see you at home, Lucy. say where the waterfall's not falling. <sighs> I went to look for Astrid and Apollo who were with us because I noticed that they weren't with us when we had flown up to the Witcher's house. Mm. And I remembered we had talked about <clears throat> the Ice Cavern. Or wherever the fuck it was, I forget what it's called. So I went there to check on them, to try and retrieve them, to bring them back to where we were. And as I got there, apparently, war was speaking. Says it would make a sn pile. Look at a pile, she says. And so then. I, uh, stayed, because I'm not going to just walk away while people are fighting a pale. So as we were fighting... Ah, <laughs> uh, that's big. I just about got smacked <laughs> in the face. I get, I get hit in the face with a cushion. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I made a pile. Mm. I'm like crouching <laughs> up in the corners. <laughs> Holy! I'm gonna hide back here. Hang on, I'll look fix through it. the hey. window. My cousin could get lost in here. But you stayed? I stayed and we fought against war and became hard marked ones, supposedly. <laughs> How did you do different from yesterday? I don't fucking know. I showed up and she was already there talking with him. And then we fought. Okay. So then from there, we were fighting within the area out in front of the caverns. And Astrid was snatched up right beside me. And I didn't even notice because I was checking on everyone else. I didn't like where it was. And then Astrid went missing, we went and checked for her in the normal dungeon, she was not there. The doors are locked now, mind you. What? There's rubble in places and the doors leading into the back where we had previously gone to find the torturous chambers and the door of do not touch it. Ah. Uh, they are now locked, you can't get back there. Great. <laughs> hey, an astro's been taken by the war, apparently. Amazing. And 
we can't save her. Not at the moment, no. I'll just back to the top of the couch. So that. We're making a snuggle puddle pile. <clears throat> what is with you and murking your character? It's a couch. It's yeah, not a it couch, it's a nest. Excuse me, sorry, a nest. Welcome to the nest. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna head home. <clears throat> I, it's not much. If you hear anything, King, or any of you guys hear anything, know. please let me know. Thank you. Did Lucy leave too, or? I, do not I don't know, he was crouched so. down. It was the small gentleman out front. What? No, every. Listen, you got rid of Astrid. You got rid of Arwen. You, you now so you're getting rid of Ast like, uh, Astrid. What is this? And, uh, Stop it! See you all tomorrow. Take care. All right. I'm going to report you uh, for emotional you, abuse. If you ever need anything, just let me know. I appreciate it. Be signed. Right, guys. Oh, I think I'm going to run uh, these two books over to uh, Kiva's place. Mm. Well, since she opened up a uh, clinic, so I might as well give her some. Uh, Everybody opens fucking clinics and fucking I was just saying that. The clinics taverns. in bath houses, in taverns, and everything. I mean, we have a bar, but it's. But we didn't ever tell it is a tavern. I don't think we have a clinic. Do you have a clinic? I do not. Nope, I don't have a clinic. <clears throat> if we, technically, if we did have a, probably be better than most of the people on the land. But. I don't want more people to have reason to be here. Mm -hmm. Getting fucking tired of people. More booze for everyone. Eh. Where'd you go? Oh! That was the strangest instance I've ever seen. Oh. You were there, you punched, and then you weren't, and then you splatted. I did no such thing. Come a bella, I'm a ballerina! <laughs> You're a ballerina. I got a spin, or do you pirouette? Oh boy. That doesn't feel half bad. Do I make a good cat? I think you make a better puppy. sat in town and listened to people shit house us, except for Tavriel and Tempest, including Kiva. They plan to do their own expeditions to make them more organized and purposeful. They can kind of go fuck themselves. Only when one thing seems to go wrong, people start to complain even though it was successful. Yep. Everything we do is wrong. We should all just lie down and die and listen to everything that the pale has to say. I'm 
bunch of fucking idiots. They're going to do their own expeditions. What, are they running one tomorrow? I don't know. I don't fucking care. Apparently there's a meeting on, like, shit tomorrow. <coughs> Lyrica's putting it down. What's it? It's in my back pocket, you can see it. Okay. Might have to turn around. Bobby? Yeah? Where are you? I'm upstairs. Hi. King, this is Annalie. Hello, Annalie. I like your big couch bed. Come on to the couch. It's a very nice couch. I climb on up. I'm really sorry for leaving earlier. I got scared. You don't need to. I dealt with the skull. I just don't need to apologize for that. I, I believe you can do it. There you go. Sorry. I'm not a good climber. Well, it's fine, it's quite a big couch. What are you two doing? Bitching. And relaxing. Um, why is she laid claim to this title? This is a really unfortunate title. Mate of Therok? That's a very no. weak title. She'd like to pick up and claim mediocrity, then so be it. Who are we talking about? His sister. Former. No, I don't think this how it works, is it? Hey, when it's not blood, yes. What are you putting her in a book now? No, I'm taking her out of one. Is it an insult to say someone's a good fuck? Depends. Let's not well, be toxic, please. Um, are you talking about, like, procreating? I don't know. I would assume if somebody were to refer to it as being a good fuck, it wouldn't be so much procreation that might be a result, but I think more or less they're extolling the quality of that partner, I would hope. Is it an insult, though? I don't think so. Uh, oh, I don't know. I wouldn't think so, but I'm not sure. We have a bet skull on that wall. I haven't torn that one down yet. <laughs> I don't know if this is what should be in this room, but uh, I made a giant catch. Nah, no, it's fine. It matches me here. I did. May I ask so, you an appropriate question? Sure. I know Poppy's married. Are you Aye. her partner? I am her husband, that is true. <laughs> you are? Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations. Thank you. I'm Emily. Pleased to meet you, Emily. I understand that where you're at seems to cause you concern. Oh. It's complicated, I think. If a place causes you concern, shouldn't be terribly complicated. Does it cause you concern, love? Do you feel unsafe? Or manipulated there. To be quite honest, I don't know. The only person that I feel like has done me wrong is Riker, but he doesn't live there. He doesn't live anywhere, he said. But I also don't know who to believe or what to believe anymore. So I'm not really sure. 
Would you prefer to be in a place known for lost souls and fellow fae, where you'll be protected and cared for? Your pets laid four eggs? What? I mean, that sounds really nice. Well, you could move into the house above the hill. I was going to demolish it for various reasons, because Kiva no longer lives there because she fucking left. But you can take it if you so desire. Thank you for the offer. You're welcome. Yeah, it's complicated, I think. Put so it's let's see, you're over there with what's his name? The red third prince something? Yeah, uh, the Prince of Wrath and Lust. Hey, that doesn't sound like the right place for you, dear. Well, you could be wrong, but... it's really awkward because... Well, I arrived looking for a job because I wanted some gold to buy me a horse. And I saw their postal and notice board and I went to them and I asked for a job. And then suddenly they were moving me in and now I live there. And I didn't know, but now, now I know it's a harem, and I got worried, and I asked Calypso, because she lives there, if I, now I'm a part of the harem, and she said no, that it's not a requirement, and that she'd never do anything that I wouldn't want. <laughs> but, it gets... Confusing because what was your pet? Well, Prince Redford told me that <sighs> everyone's saying it's wrong, so I'm not really sure what to if I can trust him because he told me that lust derived from women, and women are the reason that men act the way they do. And then I was worried that I was being lustful to Riker, and that's why he acted the way towards me. And I was going to apologize for being lustful, but then Calypso said no, to not apologize, because I wasn't being lustful. But now I'm confused, because I thought lust comes from women, and I'm a woman, I think. So... That's a bold-faced fucking lie. Lust comes from both sides of the fucking situation. I'll tell you a secret, it doesn't come from Faye. Unless you're one of them satyrs. I've seen them do things like that. Yeah, to my knowledge, satyrs are very id-driven. They'll do anything that makes them happy. Usually drinking, gambling, you know. <laughs> to be fair though, our satyrs are like... They're closer to like... Confused beings like the rest of us. I think all of us are just lost. Oh, yes we are. That is usually the nature of Faye in outside of their own plane. Every not even Faye and I'm lost. I mean, you're not lost, you're on a couch. A big pink couch. You know what I mean. You know my story. I trust the ladies that live there, though. They seem really nice. I'm just not sure what to think about Redford. I've only met him once, though, so... Seems like an angry fuck demon, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, but Clusso said that she'd never do anything to me that I didn't want to happen. I don't think anyone should be doing anything to you unless you specifically pursue it. Yeah, not, that's what she said. But I mean, kind I of. there's a difference between not saying yo, no and saying yes. J 
just because it's I true. didn't tell someone not to hit me doesn't mean I told them to hit me. That makes sense. You make your decision, dear. I have no qualms about it if you'd like to stay. I won't spin you any fucking tales of lust and how it's a woman's fucking virtue <coughs> or some shite or another. Although we have a lot of married couples in this cave. That might be true. Actually, I think all of you, all of the married couples have a fay in them. Every single one. That's weird. <laughs> We're just trying to sell our souls, we get it. We don't deal in souls. It's more like memories and abstractions. True. What would I do with a soul? I'm no demon. Can I'm you chew just on it? Being silly love. I don't know, go ask Redford. Ow. Ow. <laughs> like that? No, I don't think that's how it works. Okay. But I guess it makes sense that two people I'm having an issue with, I, I think they're related some kind of, somehow, in some way. And they're both in that house, or he stays around that house, and the other one is that house? Question mark. Uh, Prince Redford runs the house. Well, allegedly, he's rarely there, but... And then, Riker doesn't live anywhere. He just kind of roams, and I don't see him too often. Mostly at the clinic, because he's always hurt. Hmm. Well, again, like I said, you can make your choice, and you're welcome here if you like it. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Not at all. I'm just tired. Mm. Yeah. Interrupting would mean I would stop doing what I was doing, which is barting and, and needing him. I'm pretending to be a cat. I'm a very good cat. Meow. <clears throat> Clearly a cat. Meow meow. <laughs> meow meow. Cat's got accents now, apparently. Meow. It's kind of cute. This is my very exotic dwarven cat. Just passed me out. Oh, I've killed it. Like I said, you, you're welcome to stay here. I think you'd fit in a little bit better here. I hear Bob. Yeah. You hear Bob? Yeah. Alright, get up. No. Should be talking. Stand up. Maybe there's not Bob I'm hearing. I know that somebody was limping out of the cave side and Tom stopped him to heal him. It's a man I've never seen before, but that means not much, considering I haven't really been around a lot yet. Yeah. <gasps> Do you want to hear something really funny? Sure. Kes I like Kes funny. Kespian called us cousins because he says goblins are less of <laughs> What is he? 
I don't know what he is. He's some fucking courtier from the wild. I'm not a wildling, so I don't know their fucking hierarchies. I just know that you avoid gentry at all cost, and uh, if you're dealing with them, you're probably a fucking idiot. Gentry and the weird are not, uh... First of all, they don't really travel. So anyone claiming that Stetis is uh, a charlatan? Hmm. Second of all, we I'm don't really respect of... them, we just kind of avoid them. Yeah. There's a man named Fio Barba, I think. That is a... Fio Barra? Fion Barra? I don't know. Yeah. I have no, no worries. He's claiming to be from the Summer Court. Like a political figurehead. There's a lot of Fae that are from the wild claim to be courtiers. I, again, of the weird, anyone who claims the court is what we call a changeling. And uh, honestly, changelings don't garner a lot of respect amongst the hedgelings. I mean, we don't dislike them. They're just mortals who got taken advantage of. And there's no courts amongst the gentry. So, so we shouldn't be afraid. Um, I'm not a wildling, love. I'm I'm from a place called the Hedge. That's a totally different type of fae. So I should be afraid. I mean, are you from the weird, like the wild? Yeah. Did I'm you from the Summer Court too, which is awkward. Well, the area, not you know, you know, in the court, but. I mean. Did you ever have to listen to any of the shit they said? I was never allowed to. I don't think my parents wanted them to see me. Ekatafe? What? I don't know. Like I said, I'm, I'm not a wildling. You need to speak with, like, gnomes in regards to that sort of stuff. I know that courtiers and courts are a big thing in the wild but I travelled infrequently there as weirdlings and wildlings have different natures about them <clears throat> my people are far more secretive we prefer masks we mm, present as mortal we deal in bargains far more strictly and we're what most people would consider evil <laughs> or at least selfish but that's just the way of it I wouldn't worry too much about it he's not in charge of you any more than you're in charge of him He is as much yes, so. authority as you attribute to him. No, Ms. Well, he looks like an elf, but he has a beard. It's weird. Listen, I gotta be honest, all of you wildlings look like elves. I Honestly, I think you're just elves that found your way into the wild and then, like, decided you were fairies. Well, I'm supposed to be an elf, I think. I don't know, you're bred, right? Like, all of the wildlings are born? Yeah, I was born. Yeah, weirdlings aren't born, we're made. So, there's a the whole different hierarchical nature of it. I don't know. Like I said, no miss is from one of the courts. I don't remember if it's spring or summer. I think it's spring. But maybe it's like a country. The courts? I don't know, I'm just approximating it to other things I've seen. Yeah, I mean, that's how I would describe it. Just a way to divide the areas, I guess. Hmm. 
Does it worry you he's gonna do something? Well, I, I really, honestly, I don't know. Which one are we talking about? Fibonacci sequence? Fionar, Fion, Fi, Fion Bara. Fuck boy, got it. I don't really think I'm afraid he will do something. I guess it was just like, you know, you grow up with rumors and they tell you to like go do something while the adults talk or something and it, you start to fear it, I guess. <laughs> the only adult here is me and I fucking give a shit all, so. Wow. What, what the, the hell does that mean? You're chaos. That does not make me yes, any less of an not... adult. Unfortunately, no, it does not, here's but the it thing makes that you chaos. There, there are no children, no adults, no no age, so it's an irrelevant term, but you're implying that I am not a fully developed sentient creature. Stop fucking baiting me. <laughs> Why? Because I don't want to be bitten right now. Fine. Also, why is there a dead bird downstairs? Because I was told, now maybe this was incorrect, but Raka told me that you give birds to people that you like. Okay, can we go back to this whole understanding that Riker is a piece of shit and shouldn't be listened to? To be fair, I didn't know that two days ago when I'd left the bird down there. Okay, well now we know. Don't listen to him, he's a fucking idiot. Did you like the pebbles? I did, they were quite nice. Well, I'd actually argue that he's not necessarily wrong. All my cat friends back at home, they do that. Foxes will also do that too. They like bringing you dead things. It's a way to show that they care, and that they're willing to feed you and take care of you, like you take care of them. Say, definitely was appropriate. Um, Annalie just, she's in a, a sex house, and she's an, a, she's an innocent character, so it doesn't necessarily make sense for her to be there, and I think the time zones don't match up either. like a thing Bella likes. Is it like an everybody thing or? What, cheese? Cheese, yeah. That cheese is wonderful. It goes in a lot of dishes. Hell, I make a cheese Danish. A cheese Danish. Extra cheesy. <laughs> Not quite that. Added some fruits. Actually, that was actually really a common food. Dried fruits, fresh fruits. Now you could do a fresh. You could do a fruit uh, pastry with. Uh, 
Danish, yeah. Fruits and nuts and cheese. Fresh baked bread. Although biscuits are better. I do make a good basket. Mm. <laughs> well, guess I'm making biscuits in the morning. <gasps> making biscuits, that's what this is called. Also, if you do move in, I make fresh baked goods. Ow! That's good. Every morning. That's called making biscuits. <clears throat> well, that's really nice of you. I don't eat meat. I'm actually... Baked, baked goods like breads and such, not meat. Well, I just figured you'd need to know if you're going to be baking things and cooking things. Oh. The only thing I've baked meat in, into is eyeballs. I have made regular meat pies, my dear. Oh shit, you're right. you right! Making pancakes, making bacon pancakes! <laughs> I haven't made bacon pancakes in a hundred years. To be fair, my favoritism for meat really comes from a masking. That makes sense. I find it hard to eat things that talk to you. I don't. I'll suck an eyeball right out of somebody's head and wash it. I've always believed that people have their own decisions they make and I'm not anyone to judge them. Alright, I am gonna get up. I'm gonna go see Krill before I go to bed. Ah, yeah, let's go pick on him. I haven't seen him in days. Come on. Get snitched. Effort to come if you'd like. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Careful, she's wearing a skirt. Get cheat. Alright, fine. Big so big. <laughs> Keep on. <laughs> it's fine. Have you been to Mythic Chai? Oh yeah, I go there for the clinic all the time. Aye. Cool. Is this Okay for you? I, I, I don't want to hurt you. Nah, it's called levitation. Oh, I guess I don't have the old bub now. Magic fingers! Hmm. That's my Hi, Pippa! That is cool. Hmm. Hi! <gasps> Do you want to learn to fly? Is it a oh. Come here. Crash one of those rocks between your hands and then drink one of those potions? Guys, I think that they're having a private conversation below our end. Transport. Huh? Wee. Uh. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Do that. Uh. 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 Do you want to go see Crow with us? Sure. Did King come outside? Yeah, he did. No, 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 no. no he didn't. Went to Mr. Tree. Oh, before before okay. I forget, I, I there was a an old painting that you had, and I can't find it now. Oh, um, I have it. It's actually in the main hall. 
Did he already go down a mythic tree? Uh, yeah, mean? he already went there. What do you mean, Hiddick? There's nothing yet here! <laughs> Come on, we're gonna go pick on Krell. Uh, you said it's in the main hall, yes? Yeah. I can I can give you a copy, don't worry about it. Wow. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> when people aren't talking, you gotta come by and learn to fly. Yeah, I'm about to learn to fly. Their conversations sounded really serious, like I didn't wanna know. I would like to know too, but I'll let them finish the conversation before I ask about it. You know. People. That's fair. Like I said, there's a lot of lot of carpals in the cave. I haven't seen you in forever, Pippa. Where you been? Oh, oh, I've been around. I just don't show up in the, you know, open <clears throat> much. Well, that's silly. <sighs> there's been a lot of dangerous stuff. Gotta stay in the dark sometimes, yeah. I mean. I suppose I'm really more focused on the exit strategy. Mm. Exit strategy. Yeah, I don't really want to stick around as, you know, the big bad evil things try and eat me. <laughs> so what have you been up to? You just been like hanging out or Yeah. Find anything fun or interesting? Mm, not lately. Just, you know, the pale. Mm, nothing too different than are, usual. Are you perhaps any good at engineering? Engineering. You know, engineering. making stuff. Ah, uh, I know Taryn is good at alchemy, but I don't know if that's what you're looking for. Well, so I asked Orm, who's the other goblin who lives in the cave, if he would help me make a harpoon to pe pierce the veil. Uh, and because the my my initial take on the machine was really fucking bad. My engineering skills are really really bad. Um, I'm really good at magical the theory. Veil? Uh, the veil between realms. Mm -hmm. I need a basically short shorthand. I need a magical harpoon that can pierce the veil between realities. <laughs> yeah. What's on the other side? Um, well, the idea behind the usage of such machine is so that we're going to pierce the veil and draw it thin so we can open a gate and get the fuck out of the Pale's realm. But, you know, it's been a long-term project. Totally lost sight of you. There you are. I'm still here. Yep. But, kind of had, work, had Orm working on that the other day. I think you've ever met Orm. No, I didn't know he existed. Yeah. Hey, he's a funny fella. I think he's got mm. brain damage, though. Oh? Yeah. Even if you met him, he might not remember you. Well, his memory sounds worse than mine when I meet someone for the first time. Yeah, I think he got bop with one of his machines or something. Oof. Yeah. Uh, don't bite me! <laughs> but yeah. You should come by Caveside more often. I haven't seen you in forever. To be honest, I kept forgetting where it was. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. It is kind of a hole in the wall. Mm -hmm. But now that I know where it is, I'll come and bother a little more often. Yeah? Yeah. Now you can pick on all the fairies. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be nice. As long as I get to learn how to fly. Absolutely. I mean, it's a goblin construction, so what do you expect? Ah, uh, good, good. Yeah, I don't know if you've wandered around up in the, the walkways up there, but it's, uh, it reminds me of some of the holds I'd visited when I was, like, younger. Mm. If 
out it was the style <laughs> I was going for. I'm not very good at building. But people just hanging out in the fucking woods like this. Hmm. Yeah, it's normal. Yeah, happens a lot. In Is the it? Rainbow or Alcaba. Hmm. Family. What? Well, you don't like to talk out in the middle of the woods? I mean, that's, mm, that's the guy. What guy? Hello. Mm -hmm. Yes, hello. The guy that was talking. The guy that was talking. Shit. That one? The one that was standing in the middle of the field, or the one that was standing with the three others? The one that was standing with the three others. Oh, that's Tharok. That's uh, my sister-in-law's mate. So I'm going yeah. to stab him in the fucking gut for talking shit. Technically, he's my brother-in-law by marriage or something like that, I guess. Yeah, it's weird around here. Talking shit about us, I'm assuming. Yeah, about the letter on the notice board and how they agreed with it or something. I've got to be honest, anybody who's too cowardly to put their name onto a letter that they post about other people can go eat a goddamn dick. Yeah, we, we attacked oh. him last night. Well, oh, you made it. Hi, I found Pippa. Because we, uh, Tempest apparently had a sliver of her soul taken by down. So we got it back. Heard about that. Yeah, the hound I know too well and have spoken to him on many occasions. The night he was here, Crow, was because of me. And last night he was here again because of me. Watching me and keeping sure that I'm safe after everything that I have dealt with and after everything I put and made in order for me to make sure that Rykoff was safe I had to make a deal so yes right now he's watching and making sure I'm keeping the end of my deal he's a watcher before we attacked him he simply asked us are you going to pull your weapons and attack or are you going to let me finish my watch. I am, <sighs> I am none too much patience um, for those that choose to sit by and watch. He's watching Poppy. Fence sitters. I understand why he sits and watches now, and who he's watching for. Well, who's he all watching? I feel like those are people we need to know, other than just you. He hasn't, he hasn't said much, but all I know is who he works for, who he watches for, and now his death. Oh, well, yeah, that's... He speaks a lot about death, and it's very apparent that he is a messenger and a hand for death. He is the hand for death. I say a hand because there's several hounds. Mm. And I doubt the death one. just... I just, I doubt death has one hand to deal with everything. That's why I... But he's the predominant hand for death. I'm gonna call it a night. I just wanted to come and see, and see how you're doing, Krill. That's all. Mm -hmm. Take care, everyone. <laughs> you as well. Sleep Night. well. Night. I'll come by tomorrow. Cheers, sure, sounds good. What now? What did I fucking miss? I'll sleep at least. He's going to sleep. I zoned out for two seconds. What the fuck? King is going to sleep. That that's well, what he why? Sleep. That's what happened. <laughs> fucking 
heal. What are you doing? I said good night. I kissed you on the cheek. For Did you? Sake. No, I wasn't paying no attention. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been doing? What me? No, the fucking piano. Yes, nothing. you. Absolutely, I have sat here. Other than, like, occasionally go to the Black Keep and the Unnamed City as I try to get Hanuman's Gata. Hanuman's Wada? Gata? I think we have one of those. It's a hammer. I'm pretty sure we have one of those. Hmm. Now I'm just trying to find one. Why? Needle high is better. Wait, what is? Whatever the fucking Sparky one is. I don't. I don't know fucking Sparky one. Adelfine. Oh. I yeah, see. I don't. I don't really know those things. You're literally gonna make I me look. I want to test it out. You're gonna make me fucking look this no, up. No, I'm not making you look through make anything. Make it listen now. Elf, Elfirin, Elfirin, that one, the sparky one. Oh yeah, Elfirin. Yeah, that one. Edelheim, same thing. That's what I meant. <laughs> I just want to test it out. It's literally the only reason I want it. I mean, meh. When you have a hundred percent armor penetration, does it really matter? I, I don't know. So, if you sit here all day, have you just stared at a wall? Is that what's happened? No, I've just been sitting around. I, I mean, Rycroft was here and there for a bit, so I was talking to him. Then just stare at a wall. What did you get outside? Or like go to town and talk to people? I've never seen you in town. I, well, I've been there. It's just. I don't know. Can I just not relax? at the tavern and not have to deal with it trying to burn down or something trying to burn down i don't know you could have come and paid us a social call or something like that <laughs> you've yeah. never you've never even taken goblin flight lessons oh well, yeah because I, d I, d I don't fly i don't try to fly it's really fun I... I don't know about that. Have you ever been... I like the ground. Listen, it is... It's really... Really ingenious dropped off technology, right? If you drop really heavy things from the sky on top of people... You have the element of surprise. <laughs> well, yeah. That, that is an act that is an element of surprise <sighs> yeah I'm probably actually about to go back to the black keep in unnamed city as I haven't been since the storm and try again. I feel like you never come visit me. I always have to come I visit you. I don't visit a lot of places. I know, you don't visit Jesus. anywhere. <laughs> I was like, I barely get out of the tavern sometimes, okay? I know, I'm just saying, I come by and make a point to come say hi to you, but you don't ever come by and say hi to me. A very one-sided friendship. Well, sorry. 
Carl's like, we're not friends. <laughs> Wait a minute, I didn't say that. <laughs> that. <laughs> Okay, so you'll come by tomorrow and you take up the flight lessons then. I will try to come by tomorrow without the flight lessons. <laughs> no, you'll fucking love it. I am a ground person. The ground is nice. Listen, the goal is to grab the highest part of the mushroom. So this is not flying, this is launching. Like a catapult, god. It is, it. It is a gobblepult, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Makes more sense now. It's putting people in a catapult. So you have literally never been to the fucking smithy, have you? You've never been there. I have been to the smithy. The catapult I've been is... like four or five times. When was the last time you were there? Was it been since everyone moved in? Because the catapult is literally right next to the gate. I think it was when I walked by for the funeral. I think that is the last wow. time I went. <laughs> wow, okay. What? Nothing. Somebody's got to die for you to come by and say hi. That that is <laughs> I mean it does look like that. That or Doesn't some it? sort of business is happening. <laughs> Besides, you can come help oh, someone the, the kid thing. Oh, someone's dying. Time in no, where's Krell? <laughs> Better go, to the go say hi to the game son. After my condolences. Official <laughs> start showing up at random over. places. Anyone dying here yet? Listen, we don't nope. need any okay, harvesters then. or aspects. We just have Krell. Aspect of really sad death. <laughs> At least I'm not, like, taking souls. No, that's what all the demons are for. <laughs> I definitely didn't threaten to eat the Pell's souls the other night, though. You fucking should've. Oh, I definitely did threaten. I said they may not have hearts, but I will eat their soul. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm so tired of this kid's glove shit. Let's negotiate with the pale. Let's listen to the pale. Let's do what the pale says. Why? I mean, fair. I'm going to make the tormentor into adornments for my wall or a set of armor. So who the hell is the tormentor? He's the one that likes, uh, torturing people he's the one that smashed off the horns of Adria mm. he's the one with chains and then there is his master the one called the torturer they really are not that creative <laughs> I mean Here's the thing, look, I'm super fucking confused about. Is this anything to do with the horsemen? Have we just diverted from that completely? Oh, I think there's still a thing. I think, I personally think they're underneath the Tormentor. And th the main reason I say this is because when I took down Famine, before I took him down, the Tormentor came into the room and then said, Famine, I'm letting you deal with this. And then when we took down Famine, he sounded like a disappointed dad. Famine, I had such bigger plans for you. I'm ashamed. 
That's what it sounded like. Thorin just got yoinked. So hard there. <laughs> so yeah, uh... Yeah, that's a th Oh, I don't know. I... Who is... I was wondering, who is listening to the Power Puppy? I don't know, everybody seems to be like, Ah yes, the Pale will tell us how to defeat them. The Mark of War is definitely what we need to defeat war. Uh, I mean, it's... I guess what what war has said though. Yes, but why would why would our enemy tell us how to defeat them? Because I guess uh, nobody else knows. I mean, it's on the from what I heard, with her being voiced. It's it's literally everywhere in the land what has been said. And is it? Is it war telling us how to defeat them, or is it more of, hey, if you're marked, you get the chance to try and defeat me? Uh, not that I know of, no. Oh, was... Not that I, what, what do you mean? I, I, that was a two-sided question. I don't know, I don't know what not that I know of. That could stand okay. for both of them. Okay, no, because what we were told earlier when we, as careless as Calypso is and decided to challenge and war entertained it, uh, it at least gave us uh, some information that the ones that are marked are the ones that will help open the way in order to face war one on one. Oh, so it's exactly what I said. Only certain ones will be chosen to go through the door. To no, no, no. Turn my blade. They open the door. We then are all allowed to go through. I'm hella confused. Yeah, and now I'm confused. And on, on top of okay. this, we're still listening anyone to the that pale. Is marked, anyone that is marked by war will be able to open the door. Once the door is open, we all are allowed to go through to fight war and get its head. This is exactly the word she has said after we all fought her earlier today. Okay, but I'm going to go back to my original question. Why would they tell us how to do this? It makes literally no sense why they would lay this out for us. Because someone asked them the question. What, are they fucking Dijin and they can't lie? Or they can't just be like, no, go fuck yourself? Everyone's taking their words with a pinch of salt. That doesn't mean we can't just ignore. It might have some truth to it. I'm not going to ignore. Okay, and so if the Everything. pale says, you should all uh, give me all of the souls that you've collected because I'll keep them safe. Uh, yeah, no one would ever do that. Hopefully not. Bobby, it's like saying we should all listen to everything that you says. We don't know if you're telling the truth half the time. I'm not. Everybody knows I'm a fucking liar. We just take everything we, you say with a pinch of salt, as they say. I don't think it's a pinch of I salt. I didn't know you were a liar. I'm a, I'm a pathological liar. I don't like to lie. Wouldn't that mean that you're lying right now? Mm, Am I? Do I? <laughs> Feel like you know what? I'm gonna go down to the pit. Bye! I mean, anyone can follow. What are you gonna. Inv okay, how about instead of saying I'm going down there just to. You know, faff off by myself. Does that anyone an like to spar? <laughs> that is an invitement to anyone. It did not sound <laughs> No, it, it, it was not. more like, it, it, I'm it going down to the like pit. Invitation. I'm going to go down to the pit and faff. That was what it sounded like. 
I'll be down there in a bit, but, um, Poppy, can I get the thing so I can... Oh, yeah, hang on. Ah, uh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, headache. Oh, headache. That's a sign. <laughs> oh, that is a sign. What the... Oh, huh? Yep, that name is stuck in forever now. The Rock. Hmm. Arabella. Can you poke me real quick because I'm having a brain fart and can't find you? It's been oh. a long time. Mm. <laughs> Doesn't pass. Not like that. <laughs> yeah, not oh. like that. That not what I'm asking for. <laughs> Yes, Quell insides. He's gone to go down to the pit to fight. Hmm. Really, I'd stop by and pay respects to uh, rations, as I haven't been there after the funeral. Uh, I'm sure he would like that. Hmm. Let me get the other one real quick. Yeah, it's down below these stairs. Well, down below this area here. Yes, if you, uh, can kill you. Sorry, I'm getting the other one, real quick. Sure. Oh, hmm. Hello, Pippa. Hi. Poppy. That's nice. Hmm. Hello. Emily. If you go this way. Are we going to the pit? Alright. I was just showing him. From the door. Let's go downstairs. And this way. Why am I like having a fucking mm. goddamn seizure today? <sighs> it happens a lot. Talk to yeah. Because you're a goblin. Yeah, I'm sure you can. Uh... Wow, out. that's fucking racist. No, I'm just saying that you're a goblin. Usually, you all kinds of shit that you're like getting high off of. That is racist. That's a yeah. stereotype about goblins. That's hella no, racist. No, I just know Poppy. First time I met Poppy, she was talking about freaking stuff got her high. It's got you. I was talking about eyeballs. Good drinking. It's down here. No. Huh? no. Um, if you don't find out about eyeballs. Like <gasps> oh. Uh, down here in Lee. So I heard you were talking shit, The Rock. Hmm? I heard you were talking shit about King and me. Was I? That's what I've been told. Well, I was calling you a chaos goblin. That's not talking shit, that's just all in reality at this point. Don't think I went to the king, though. I'm sorry, what'd you say? I heard. Yeah, that was pretty accurate. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the pit. Yeah, let's go back to the pit. 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 Well, I ain't playing fucking games either. Yeah, you're a bloody chaos goblin, and half your ideas are as brilliant as they are stupid half the time. Doesn't mean I'm talking shit about you. Nor am I talking shit about King. Why the fuck would I? Oh well, no, he said he heard you talking shit about us. And about our expeditions, well, and agreeing with the board. Well, I would be kind of stupid if I'm sitting on my own bloody expedition. The expeditions do need to be more organized, that's what I fucking well said. And they need to be. Oh, wow. Well. It can't be this fucking chaos. Seeing how you've never been on one of my fucking expeditions, how would you fucking know? Actually, you'd be fucking wrong. I've been on two with you. Well, you never showed up to the fucking meetings. So now, you're not part of any of my fucking expeditions just because you show up. If you don't come to the fucking meeting, you're not in the expedition. Because you don't know what the fucking plan is. I was is. at that meeting. Remember? Were you? When? Yes. 
when we finally figured out the fucking keyholes on that goddamn door. And was my expedition badly organized? No, that one actually went pretty well. The other ones have been shit talked to hell and back, really. Do you want to know the why other that ones, is? As in the only other one you've been to. You want to know why that is? It's because people didn't come to the planning lady masses. and did whatever the fuck they goddamn pleased. Hmm. So maybe it's not my expedition, but the shitheads who show up and talk shit and cause problems in the middle of what we've planned to do. Mm hmm. Could very well be. So I very much appreciate oh. you shit talking, because that's what you were doing, and undermining our efforts to make progress. Ah, you believe whatever the fuck you like to believe. I don't really give a shit at this point. I know you don't. I wasn't shit talking you. If I did, I'd do it to your fucking face. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I bloody well would, you fucking chaos goblin. When have I ever not called your chaos goblin to your fucking face? You knew what I'm talking about. You know it was underhanded, and you know it was backslapping. I know I wasn't yeah. doing any of that. But I'm gonna let them talk. I'm not gonna tell them not yeah. to speak. Yeah. That's their prerogative. I'm sorry, I thought we were friends. I would have thought you would have defended me. Instead of agreed with them. Instead of agreed with the shit smeared on the fuck. You didn't think we were friends? No, I didn't agree with them. Not entirely. Ah, fucking hell. There goes my move to fight it. Yeah. Right, so we're doing this bullshit then. Did I agree that these fucking expeditions, in general, could do with a bit more organization? Yes, is that your fault entirely? No, you're just setting them up. You're not everyone's fucking keeper, are you? People need to get their shit together. People need to be organized. That I fucking agree with. But that's not your fucking fault, now is it? As you fucking put it to yourself, people are goddamn fucking idiots. That I agree on, because they fucking are. There needs to be more organization before the expeditions. People need to learn to fucking work together. And stop blitting around like fucking idiots. I thought you were going to sleep, King. I had coffee, I forgot about it. <laughs> ah. Alright, I'm ready. So if you're it. mad at me for saying that people are fucking idiots, well, be fucking mad. I'm mad because I, you I didn't, didn't fucking sense. defend me and I've made every effort to make sure that you have happiness in your fucking life. I have done nothing but try to help you. And you, when you had a chance to stand up for me, and mine, didn't. <laughs> Because they're complaining that the or that the expeditions aren't fucking perfect. They're no, because they call us fucking stupid. Did you not read None the book? Face. Did you not read the book? Because that's what you were not. fucking agreed no. with. And we had fucking shit smeared in the front of our doorstep today because people are goddamn assholes. So I don't need somebody half-heartedly half making agreements about people talking smack about me and my family. Because I want to fucking leave. I want to fucking live. I don't want to get fucking stabbed in the ass and die to the fucking pale. <laughs> don't think any of us fucking well do. And instead of trying to fucking whack with us and make improvements, you decide, I'm going to just go fucking do my own thing. You could have fucking talked to us. Fuck, I don't even care if you run an expedition. I would have liked some fucking, I don't know, conversation instead of, well, they don't do it good enough. I'm going to do it my fucking self. Do you know how that fucking looks? Hmm, is that what you take from it then? Yeah, it is! Because you said, well, I'm gonna do it better then! Right. That's a backhanded that? insult! Interesting. That all is right. exactly what you just said. We're gonna run our own expeditions and we're gonna make it all organized and better! Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you started this. That's perfectly fine. You think I would have excluded you in any fucking way? You certainly didn't reach out to us. And because we're still fucking setting up. What am I gonna do? Post a message on the town board and not include you? 
I have it hidden from you, Jesus Christ, Poppy. I don't know, you could have fucking talked to me. You know what's actually really funny? You don't you actually tell. ever reach out to me. Ever. I come to you. I have done mm, nothing not but give you blessings and try and smooth over your fuck-ups. But yet, yet you don't fucking trust me. You don't talk to me or work with me or interact with me. You talk shit behind my fucking back. What kind of fucking friend are you? Hmm. Three, two, one, Oh, go. and he's gone. Yeah, right. I forget how much this hurt. <laughs> a little spin. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> she took extra time into a fucking nap. <laughs> 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 Nothing to say. Right. Eh, bit of a headache. Oh, so, yeah. let's summarize. Three, two, one, go. I don't come to the smithy. That's very true. I haven't been around for more than a week, and since then I've been busy at home. Before then... Well... Not that I make fucking illusions, I don't swing by there often as it is. And I trust you as far as I can tell you. Have I wronged you? No. How do I <laughs> You weren't even there. You were over here. Yeah, that's oh. I have done nothing but offer blessings on your house and kindness onto you. And you've done nothing but spit in my fucking face. And no time for fun. Hmm. Oh, well, that's how you take it. That was never the intent. And I am sorry about that. But if I disliked you so much, I wouldn't have let you be a fucking burrito to throw you at the fucking place. Excuse me? You heard me. No, actually, I genuinely didn't over the yelling. Uh, this is a terrible place to have a conversation, oh, yep. you're right. I said if I disliked you so much, you wouldn't have been a fucking burrito. In the guest room. Then you probably you shouldn't have misled me in the first place. <laughs> well, I suppose you, know, you take that seriously. Mm, quite frankly, I'm still shocked about that one. Right. That you didn't get that was bloody well a joke. Three, two, one. But that's on me. Not everyone makes unfair bargains. 
I don't make bargains to begin with. When I can avoid that. And that's nothing to you, nor anyone else. I simply don't. I think you miss my point. I tread fairly, if harshly. But you always presume I am trying to cheat you. And so you have always acted as if I am trying to cheat you. I act as if everyone's trying to cheat me. That's just the way it's been living. Then maybe I have misunderstood the definition of what a friend is. Or maybe we just aren't ones. Hmm. You want the cold heart roots? We haven't hung out enough to be friends. You're someone I rely upon if need be, yes. Someone I know who will do the right thing, but we're not friends. Then I am not glad yet. we are on the same page. We are not friends. And my kindness will be rescinded. Ready? That is your prerogative. Because Ready. at the end of the day, One. you cannot to invest in anything with me or my house. In fact, it seems you work and choose to do nothing but undermine it. Hmm. If that's what you think, that's what you think. You are the one who has stated we are not friends, not I. I was the one misunderstanding, mm -hmm. clearly. Which is why you have no I qualms about well speaking acquainted. badly and not choosing to defend me. Mm -hmm. I have made every effort to, to defend it. you. Mm -hmm. You have. So I guess you trade unfairly. Whoa. You cheat. Let me ask you this. Who wrote the message? Was there a name on it? Because I didn't see one. No. That's why I ignored it. A message without a name is usually just bullshit. If someone has to hide their fucking name, we both know you're full of shit. Yes, but you That's stood there and gave credence. No fucking... You stood there and gave credence to it by saying, yeah, no, it wasn't very well done, was it? Let me do it better. You know, that discussion wasn't even there. That discussion was well held well beforehand. When everyone came to my fucking tavern and started talking about it. Oh, no, you they asked me. Now I heard you say it. Oh, I know I was there. And I know you were there. You're shit at hiding. Even short as you are. No. But the I'm discussion not. happened before it. <sighs> they came to me and asked me about setting up an expedition, yes. I didn't disagree. You don't like that, well... Tough. I don't really care, because at the end of the day, you've told me very clearly 50. we are not friends. Oh. You made mm -hmm. it extraordinarily clear. Friendship does clear. not come this quick. Now, you know what friendship is built on? Fair exchange, which you have not done. You have cheated me, you have lied to me, and you have taken from me without giving an exchange. And some exchange of cookies and blankets mean nothing when you were the one who caused the harm in the first place because you lied and misled me. I still can't believe you actually believe that to be anything else but a jest. No. You want to know why I know you're lying to me now? Because you thought it was fucking you funny. Know. You thought it was fucking funny. I thought it was ha -ha. funny. Her ignorance will cause her pain. So true. I still don't believe you actually were that ignorant. Not sure that's an insult at this point. Three, two, one, go. Because while I may not trust you 100%, I never thought you were stupid. Clearly, you do believe me stupid, though. No, still don't. Perhaps more innocent, in the ways than the first expected, but not stupid. You're no fucking idiot. Just because you're a chaos gobbo doesn't make you anything worse.
What about a third? Sure. Make things sure. fun. I have no interest in trying to earn your friendship. It is not a token I desire anymore. Keep it. You know what? No one's not gonna make a dit in fucking king or it or you, Krill. Three, two, one, go. So now that we are all done and finished in this exchange, and we all understand where we stand. I don't think I have any more business with you. That's fine by me. I came here to ask to be let's do Adrian's grave. I wasn't there for it. May as well pay respects. That's why I was here. I'll take you up after this bar. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Oh, that's hot. 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 Stay here. No. It's, it's good RP, but... Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> good fight. Poppy's furious. Like, it's good RP, but Poppy's furious and won't give him another chance. Right this way, Zero. Actually, I want to go up to that grave because I wasn't... I wasn't around for that yesterday. All of it didn't matter until he said we're not friends. That was the part where she's like, I have no trust in you and I have no faith in you at that point anymore. Fatal fucking nightmares about it. Sorry about that, Emily. It's okay. It's okay. <clears throat> you said what you needed to say. You know, the rest of it, it really wouldn't have mattered if he had to actually admit that we were friends, but he's never considered me a friend, so he can rot in hell. He's a piece of shit, and he'll always be a piece of shit. I don't know what she saw in him, even after he cheated on her. So fuck it. I was always in his corner, and I was always helping him, and I always went out of my way to make sure everything was fine, and I looked after him, and I went to him when he was fucking suffering. And it didn't fucking matter. He's a piece of shit. I'm sorry it took you this long to notice, but he's a piece of shit. Yeah. I regret blessing his house. Well, curse it now. Mm, I'll just revoke the blessings. Melt away into ice and water in his pocket. 
Hopefully the whole household gets fucking done in by the pale for a lag of a shake. I don't mind Aatrox and Raziel is already dead. Hmm. Give me just a moment. There's a bathroom back here. Do you like sparring, Ali? Uh, I don't fight. Let's see. I try to heal, but I don't even know if I know how to do that perfectly in this realm yet. I don't think there's a perfect about it. Riker said I did okay while he was fighting the wolf, but... I can't believe anything the Riker says anymore, so... Do you want to stay with us? Like, I don't mean to pressure you, but I do want you to have that option. Even if you're not living with us or paperwork with us. I wouldn't mind. I really like you. My paperwork, no paperwork, I don't care. Whatever you desire, but... I do want you to have a place to go. Sure, and if someone moves in, I, I can move out of the big house and in into a room, because I don't need much. <laughs> do you want the big house? I mean, like, paperwork or no paperwork, you know what I mean? If no paperwork, then it's only right. You're giving me mixed signals, Annalie. I don't know what you want. Huh? Am I being lustful? I'm sorry. No, you're not being lustful. That's silly. Very, very silly. I just don't want to do anything wrong anymore. So, there's two parts of ill. There is intention and result. You have never intended harm. And well, maybe sometimes you might make a mistake. Um, you really haven't really made any mistakes around here. So, neither have you acted in ill intent. Or have you actually done harm? Well... Ramses says it was a mistake kissing Riker to heal him. But you meant no Ill, Ill will. No harm. Yeah, I wanted to save his life. You did not make... You did nothing wrong. The problem is someone took advantage of you. Yeah, that's what I keep hearing. Can I give you a hug? Me? me? Yeah. Uh, sure. If you want one. I don't know. I had a demon friend who was really into them and I kind of missed doing them. So, you get a hug. Cause I don't, maybe you need one, I don't know. Thank you. I thought maybe you needed one. No, I kind of need to step something. King, can I step you? Yeah, need Eva. <laughs> King, can I practice oh. healing you while she stabs you? Yeah. <laughs> right. Ready? Hey. Okay, go on. <laughs> I wanted, I wanted to, to do the thing. I was really corrupted and more so than normal. It's fun. Okay, all right. Now I'm ready. I got bipped. Oh. 
people. Love. It's a rat. <laughs> I'm gonna have to set up the f circles for this evening. Circles? See about maybe reducing the corruption. Oh, no. It's fine. Okay. Oh, shit. I want I want to actually. You heal me after she's beat my ass, dude. <laughs> Wait a minute! Why? Why? Who's she been healing you this whole time? No, no that was the first time. Okay, I was like, I did. Good, so I just tried. <laughs> no, I'm a bit hardy, love. I've noticed! What the hell? You yeah. seem to have problems hitting me with fireballs most uh, of the time. Sometimes, oh. yeah, saying so. <gasps> <gasps> yeah. Blah. She's just gonna leave me down here? Oh, I'm sorry, what about you? I've been abused! Wow. Do I not get so here, please? you when I do that? See, that's... I think it's because you're... I'm I, on I fire! That... <laughs> it's on fire. I'm on fire! <laughs> Bleh. <laughs> you stop being on fire, love. I'm on fire. I only give you a little healing. Hello, Aris. Looking. I don't get it, but I think I'm doing it. Ah, uh, no, you did not hit me. Oh. Uh. Maybe it's an area of effect. Maybe one uh, is too low. Some of them are. Well, she can choose to target someone, or she can choose to target an area. She can choose to target just her, f like a clan. It might be because she you're can not in the to clan. Target everyone. No, no, she can choose mm. that. Those are all things she can choose mm. with that spell. Okay. Oh, Mitra's? Yeah. 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 I don't know, shite. I'm a sentinel. I know enough. I just can't That's fucking I'm... use it. Uh, no. Nope. Hmm. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. I keep asking for help, but no one's ever helping me. Hmm. So, do you see how you would contextually control yourself? Uh, yes. Okay. So, there should be two ways to cycle, right? One way is to cycle area of effect or direct target, right? Oh, I think I understand now. And one of oh. them will be like a range to... There you go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Because I'm, like, I'm not in the same clan as you. Yeah. So there's clan targeting, there's set like, and then there's everybody targeting, and then there's erect target, area of effect, and centered on me. And those are different oh, wow. things. Oh wow, so yeah. I really didn't help at all in that pale fight. That's really embarrassing. <laughs> well, so part of the thing with it it's is, right. is, it's better sometimes in those fights to make sure you heal people in, like, behind, like, not the pale, right? So you never really want to oh, yeah. heal people who are actively fighting, so you either heal on yourself, and no, make sure you only hit people around you or direct target. Okay. Well, yeah, I was trying to do direct hmm. target, but it was... It wasn't... There were no ones in my clan, so it was very... Okay, yeah. that makes sense. Okay, okay. Why are you so fucking thick today? What the fuck is it? It's every day. I'm not even thick as I could be right what? now. What is going on? 
Now I'm even sicker. Hi. <laughs> what the hell is this? Spells will abuse. What say? So don't call spells will abuse. <laughs> Holy shit, you actually hit me with that. Did I? No, I didn't. I felt it. Mm, well, you fucking healed the entire thing right away. Which is crazy. I... Like, I can't. Okay, this is wild because you have a soul siphon on and it is not doing shit to you. Nothing at all. It's not showing on my side. Mm, it was, now it fell off. Okay. It hit me. Ah, my god. Okay, uh, no. that one's still on timer. So I know there's a glutton, but like one, two, three. They shouldn't glutton all the way back. Okay, no, I don't know, it's just fucking, I guess I'm not hitting you consistently enough. It's F's. Oh. What the fuck was that? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> this bullshit, what the fuck? I'm not doing anything different, I'm just standing here. I'm just gonna watch you heal. It's ridiculous. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Cleansing aura? No, cleansing aura doesn't heal. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. What? Mine does. What? No, cleansing Mine. aura doesn't heal. Mine does. Mine the does. Fuck? But you didn't have cleansing aura on. I I did. It's constantly on. Why does your aura... I can't aura... turn it off once I turn it on. Yeah, you can. Do you not know how to disable an aura? No. Clear aura. Oh. <laughs> You're such a dickus. What the fuck? <laughs> really? Really? You've just been reactivating your aura over and over and over and over, and over again, haven't you? Yes. To be fair, I feel... Yes, listen, I, I want more spells as a mage. It's total bullshit that other people who aren't mages have just as many spells as me, and I hate it. Angry face. I don't have any spells. I have an aura. Yeah, I know you do. But rogues have just as many, if not more, spells than me. As bullshit. <laughs> Zoom. <laughs> what the fuck? You're on the ground, zooming around! Absolutely, Molly time. Mm, focus allocation towards at least a defense. Yeah. Apparently, I have absolutely zero penetration with the knife when I'm not light heavy attacking. Mm. What are you doing behind me, Varys? Why do I have a feeling he's going to try to push me in? It's a common thing that happens. That was so weird, I went into the wall. Huh? 
the amount of healing you have is absolutely so ridiculous. Many. I have so many arrows. In my <laughs> but yeah, you fucking just keep healing. This is ridiculous. Whoa! I found one of the <laughs> in the first temple the other night, and almost completely filled it. Dark magic Where do you find them there? But that is also interesting that you were able to. Oh, oh god, I didn't <laughs> want to jump in! But I understand I'll have to pay him a visit at some point soon. You know, I'm just gonna stand in this corner. I'm not even gonna try to climb out. Yeah, no. Uh, you know where they live. Oh yeah, I, I, I absolutely know where they live. <laughs> Only because of dawn. So I'm coming. I went there, I went there because of dawn. So you, we might be seeing Keel here soon. So. Okay. No fire. Fire, no fire goblin tinkering. There's a bit of shamanistic magic, hmm? Yeah. You should come by and work on the laser. The harpoon magic bullshit. Okay. All right. Fuck this wall. Sudden, I was running the opposite way, and now I'm here. Fire. He said fire. My wife kissed my kissed my ass. God damn it, puppy! Listen, he said fire. What? Right? They just did what he asked. <laughs> did he not say fire? Right? He said fire. I was just listening to directions. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I heard fire. Okay, why does it when it hits him, it actually does damage, but when it hit fucking King, it doesn't do fucking anything? What the fuck? Because he's in the same house, I think. Is that what yeah, it no, is? That, that's what it is. Oh, yeah, no, that's what it is. Yeah. That's it bullshit. Okay. okay, you know that could be corrected, it's right? <laughs> it's it should, why it... a lot of, like, spell blades typically leave their house if. They have someone that could automatically put them, like, back in the house there. If they're going against their family. In a true spar. Alright. Please All right. fix that. That's garbage. One. Oh my god, the What the hell? I thought I... What is happening? I hear my headache. The world is angry right now. <laughs> it's very angry. Girl, heal up. What the shit? You heal Give up? Yourself a okay. Heal. Give yourself a heal. That was a headache bullshit. Alright. Yep. Yeah, it's 70%. No, I wow! I hate this! Sorry. <sighs> I only deal 70. I don't deal any damage to begin with, but I only deal 70% of normal damage to him. That's bullshit. Swing on that was so lucky. I hate uh, it. That was that was rough that time. I have never had it that bad. That was Holy bad. Fuck. I don't know why I'm not the one that's bothered, but. Alright, I'm Alright, hammer time. Three, Three two, two, one, hammer time. One, go. I never do stand up goddamn shit so it's in the fucking I'm house. I thought you would notice by now, Poppy. Uh, I don't honestly <laughs> spar with people in my own house very often. That's fair enough.
Meh, meh. <laughs> Suddenly couldn't move. <laughs> All right, puppy. I think I'm gonna head home. Okay. Did you want to stay with us? Oh, good lord. <laughs> Do you want paperwork? <laughs> Let's give it time. Okay. We can talk tomorrow. Okay. It sounded like King was actually clutching, like clutching his butthole there for a second. He was like, <laughs> oh, I need a day one or two. <laughs> yeah, Not Henley. Rest well. It was nice meeting you, King. You as well, dear. It's good to see you again for another Sorry. night, Annalie. Yeah, good to see you. Three, me. two, one, go. Travel safe. Likewise, when you do. <laughs> oh. oh. Good swing. Ooh. What the f what the hell? Fuck? Huh? What happened there? I hey. seen him strike you twice, I and then don't know. him once, and he fell down. Yeah. I, I feel like something's wrong with me right now, and I'm going to probably talk about bracelet. I tripped on a pile of sand or something. I don't know. Give me a second. I don't. This is weird. All right. Know what you want. All right. New armor that you made to the test, hmm? Yep. All Three, right. two, one, go. Ooh, wonderful done. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Very good. Kel, fight me because apparently fighting my husband is just a death sentence for me. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> one through four. I don't give Pick a shit. Pick a number one through four. Seventeen. What the f- 17. <laughs> okay. What the fuck is here? What? This happened. You hit me with a fireball and got stuck in like all of it. Just everything. <laughs> You're just all of the X swings all at once, immediately on the ground. <laughs> Bobby, are you okay? <laughs> what the fuck? Absolutely not okay. <laughs> oh, we're starting again. Okay. <gasps> I eat your <laughs> arrows. <sighs> Where are you going, Krill? I swear. <laughs> I swear. I fucking What's hate arrows. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying, though. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck I got you, but the fuck? Look at this. Dang, we'll just I, be was so... I was doing so. I was doing so. You were actually well. doing so good too. And then I got one Feel shot the by the fucking crowd. I hate it. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> got bullied by a, like, 
like, brothers. Like a yeah. man just hit me with a branch. Three, two, one, go. He literally actually... just threw a branch at Puppy. me. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, I wasn't expecting to actually hit you. <laughs> then you, why did you do it? Why did you do it? I don't know, I was wanting to throw it out there, but it, it just so happened to hit you. Why did you do it? <laughs> there you are, way over there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let his head go. Fine. Look no, I deserve it. I deserve it after all. I hit, I, I did hit her in the shoulder. No, it was through the head. That was the worst part. Like, you didn't even hit me anywhere critical, and I still just dat nipped it. Uh, Good fight. Uh, yes. Ah! <laughs> Blah, blah, blah. Let me just say that this bow and these arrows are exactly the bow and arrow that Krill created. You're su you know, you're such a fucking stereotypical elf. Look at me and what? my fucking bow. Look at how elegant I am. Look at how good of a short I am. Oh, you might even call me Legolas for how good I am at this. You know what? You know what the funny thing is? Is that I don't have to rely on my bow to do anything. I can use, I can use other things. Ah, yes, I'm an elf. I'm good at everything. I didn't say that. <laughs> I am definitely not good at everything. <laughs> I will say that. I'm not good at everything. All right. I'll see here it is. What? I'll see here it is. What? I don't what know. do you mean? I don't know. I've, She's just I've chatting the shit now. I have exactly zero concept of what's happening right now. I, I I'm confused. I'm just saying yes. 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 Yes is the answer to everything. Yes. Mm-hmm. If I was a firefly, I would fly to the moon. Like your hair, Poppy. Thanks. I brushed it. You're welcome. It turned into a floof. Oh, it turned into a floof? Yeah, well, that's what happens when you brush it. Curly hair goes Froof. I'll never let anyone see my hair undone. Or is Poppy, it, she kind of has to. She sleeps with me. Is it? Apparently, before I wake up, Levy uh, brushes my hair, so she it, braids it? my hair as well. Why is she the midnight barber? Well, I guess. I don't know what she does in the middle of the night. I don't question anything that happens. I just accept it. And move. She is the love of my life, so I don't really say anything against what she does. Well, fine brings me pebbles and barbs and pasta. That's pretty great. Yeah, I'm really good at this romantic gesture shit. <clears throat> good fight. <laughs> I was worried there for a moment, because you were at the door and then you were behind me. <laughs> Why are you still awake? <laughs> You found coffee. So, I had a yeah, I had a flask, and I thought it was a nightcap, but it turned out to be fucking coffee. So I'm not going to bed for another hour. Let's give it a try. All right, I'm ready. What what what, what is this Three, saying two, that they say? One. Get fucked. Get fucked. Basically. <laughs> it's a fucking light show in there. Ah, uh, he's got seekers. <laughs> Seekers are so cheap. They're so cheap. They're so cheap. That is a lot of seekers. Usually it's just three. But I could be having a seizure as well. I'm seeing more than three. Mm, to be about two to three, I think. It, it's three. Uh, seeker it's spells oh my God, are always. I fucking hate them. It's three going up and three coming down, I think. I think you're right. So I've not really. I've only ever seen the dark and the fiery ones. I don't think I've ever seen the frost ones. Seeker spells are fucking abusive, though. <laughs> They're so abusive. Not only do they knock you down, they target, and you don't have to do shit fuck all except vaguely in the area around where they are. I 
fucking hate. I hate them. <laughs> Zika smells are dumb. I tend to not use them. Well, you also end They're up so like annoying. dummy corrupted. That's the other They're problem. So with them. They are. <laughs> But they're effective, especially during all these headaches. They're effective until you're in a group trying not to hit people. Then they're not effective. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. Okay. Use him again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I guess The only way I've seen to deal with Lucas is you actually have to disrupt them because their cast keeps going. Well, you you can hit them and it stops the cast, but they're still in the riddle of the com the uh, somatic component. It's the only way I've ever figured to work around seeker seeker spells. Well, you doing a bit there for these? <laughs> Oh, you're nowhere near him at all. There you go, that time you got him. <laughs> I think you hit him once. There you are, my friend. No, I hit him a couple times. It's just... They were rough. <laughs> yes. I tend to try and use the sword to make it a bit... Not as, uh... <clears throat> upsetting. I had one person storm off and sulk in their house for about three hours. They're a nasty spell in three one hour. of ones. They're a really gross spell. What's that one called? A swarm of what? Tiny dots. Ice? A blaze of agony. Arrgh! That's a good spell, not an avoid one. Yes. Three, two, one, go. That's why I didn't recognize it, because I assumed it was a swarm spell. No wonder. Oh, pen weapons. <laughs> oh, I fucking... Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> the battle axe works well. Mm, yeah, and, fire. Yeah, and fire. <laughs> and fire. And <laughs> fire. Fire does what the, the axe can't. <laughs> it fills in the gap. But I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. annoying part about them is they just stun and he's so fucking squirrely I've also got an enchantment going right now that increases electrical damage so oh my god <laughs> that's why they hurt so bad oh my god 
what I will leave it at is interesting <laughs> I tend to not use these spells as most people don't like them mm -hmm. exactly. I'm ready three <laughs> he two... came like under me and I was like am I supposed to fireball him <laughs> three two one go <laughs> Said, was I? To who? To Thora. He's a piece of shit. I'm not first now. Missiles. Oh, the desperation in his voice. <laughs> <laughs> Made some diamonds himself. <laughs> and it's just it's getting like I could dodge some it seemed, and then it was the others that were coming directly after it. Yeah. <laughs> Seekers are dumb. <laughs> Overwhelming firepower. Is that is exactly choice. what that is. <laughs> See, but that's, exactly that's the thing. What like, they're not is. even like the hardest hitting spell. They just always fucking hit. It's goddamn magic missile. It's very handy to have. Like I said, <laughs> in in a one on one, it is no good on a fucking battlefield to just hit anybody. That happens. All really right. Users. Three, Sorry, say that again. Two, one. <laughs> Hang on. It already happens with the uh, melee users. Oh! Well, the melee users are not a guaranteed hit, though. I'd rather be flinched by something that stings rather than something that can knock me unconscious. <laughs> yeah, it's just absolutely fucking molly whopped. Run right away! I didn't have a hit, so maybe have six. You, I didn't hit. Fuck. Get over here, you damn squirrel. I'll show you a squirrel. I fucking, I hate when you die. That's the damn it. You and your jumping. What blight is that? Dragon's daughter's Ow! Answer. Incoming! That's bullshit! <laughs> I've been abused! What hit you? Him! <laughs> <laughs> it came from my face. And then I simply do, and then, here you go, Krell, you wanna see something enjoyable? See, oh God, the, 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 man, the magic of burn I currently suffer. Watch. Yes. Uh, mm. Are you... I just keep throwing these at... Three-fourths right now? I was... Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Be warned, was you have a lot of guests. Yeah, amazing. Yay. 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 Yes! It's been a while. There's a, there's a <laughs> door, crack. No. <laughs> I don't use doors. Doors don't like working for me. They're very slow doors. Like, you pick the slowest <laughs> doors you could possibly <laughs> fucking pick. Yeah, walls don't like me either. Crow, right you are bad at these jumps. Crow, and now he's. Look. I swear. <laughs> so, um. Ways, Hello, Crow. <laughs> I was very coming to see y'all, but then I got, like, it, I was enjoying Sparse. Mm, you yeah, fine. Were. Well, Krull, I thank you for your companionship 
in the fighting pits on your <laughs> services as a snack. I'm going to head back to make sure that these I... bloods don't Okay, destroy. love. Okay. <laughs> All right. Be safe. <laughs> no. <laughs> Again. No. Then <laughs> keep it interesting. That's more like it. I've been abused. Says the woman who came up and started saying. Listen, I don't have any weapons on me. I don't know what you're talking okay. about. <laughs> Completely unarmed. What are you talking about? Oh boy. We, ha we have a Krell. Of course we do. Wow, you're not getting this back. I've been I'm keeping it. <laughs> so hit me out. Yeah, I I am <sighs> <a> good smith. <laughs> hmm. What are you I able am? to make? And how much are you charging? I mean, lately I've like really lowered my prices because I don't really use gold. Um, I can make all sorts of things. What is it you're in the market for? That's the oh. real question. Quite the list. Quite the list. Hmm. I should be able to make it all. No. I make all sorts of weapons. Look at this. Uh, it doesn't armors. even do anything. I've made rings. I've made amulets. Ow. Made all sorts of things. Heck, I've even made boxes for people. Actually... Yes, yeah, so I've made a. I made like a magical box that like. It was actually for that man that just left. It was like a. Boris. Like some. Uh, there was like Boris. some kind of fancy box. Well. Really. Would you show me to your forge? Yes. Kill. You're going to have to gently set him down. I will never let go of that one ever again. Poor dog. Okay, yeah, we'll just go to the void to that. I hope that you uh, make it there safe. <laughs> Some bullshit. Yeah. Does this mean high lady I can't? <laughs> yes. That's a mental. You know, I genuinely cannot out damage you. That's insane. And it's not that I'm fucking missing either, that's the crazy part. I, I, I'll stand still for you, love. Listen, this is ridiculous. Look at this. Look at this. I'll, I'll take the arrows for you, my dear. You're ridiculous. <laughs> A silly duck you are. Ooh. Wow. I've been abused. Yeah. I'm not abusive. I'm just a bit uh, prickly. I was prickly after all those fucking arrows you shot me. <laughs> no, <laughs> you porcupine. Prickly porcupine. Mm. Well, of course, first I have to... Seizures, it's fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, fuck. Oh, let us 
Are you tired? I could probably be forced myself to lay to bed. You can lie there, but are you going to stare at the ceiling for two hours? Probably. Amazing. Uh, is it? At least my body will rest. <laughs> This wasn't even what we were supposed yeah. to be doing today. <laughs> what were we supposed to be doing today? Listen, we were gonna we were gonna talk about beds, the light and gales and stuff, and then you had to get all busy bodied. Then you had to tell me to get all busy bodied. All right. This is your own fault. Hey, this is on me. Uh, apparently, there's a mating Lyricus putting on tomorrow. I think a bit <laughs> somewhere like that. I think she's actually hosting it here. Hosting it here or at town? I think she decided here. It's a thing on like, you know, it's kind of like a longer version of our quick summary at the beginning of exposition expeditions. Like she was asking all the questions. Well, she's trying to collect information for everybody, which is fair. No, I've got no problem with it. <laughs> Are you able to make at least the thought? I should be able to. And if I can't, I should have at least extra made. <laughs> the next thing would be a ring and an amulet. Mm -hmm. A ring of cleansing is something I desire, and then an amulet of vigor. Okay, so you said a Thorpe's helmet, Thorpe's gloves, and Thorpe chest? That is correct. Alright, let's see if I have any extra of the chest. I do have an extra helmet. If not, I can easily just run down to the den real quick and grab some ice shards. It really won't take too long. Take your time. I can wait. <laughs> I will actually go do that very quickly. But first, hey, what I weapon really can I make you? There like, okay, are going to be two. Me and... One is okay. going to be the Assassin's Longsword. And the Gilded Throwing Knives. Alright, good choice. I'm assuming a gem fitting so of masterwork will come with it, yes? Yes. Delightful. Mm -hmm. The only time that I do not uh, include it is if, it, if someone asks um, for me not to include it. I want people equipped for the best. I 
men, oh. since, uh, hmm. since these throwing weapons typically tend to run out, I and my assistant likes to make two. I'll throw in the other one for you, Chart. My assistant likes to make extras just to be safe. Delightful. But let me go get those ice shards. But you were going to ask a question, were you not? I was curious. I've been mm -hmm. told very little. But for someone who likes... War. Battle. Such as yourself, perhaps you can indulge my curiosities. <laughs> What curiosities do you have? Can you tell me of this pale? The pale is an undead legion that has been attacking and taking the souls of people. We, they use the souls and make them into their warriors. Lately, we've been dealing with what seems to be aspects of the horsemen, famine, death, war. War is the main one right now. They like to take people, um, torture them, try to get the information, try to claim them. Mm. I know personally I've, they've tried to take me before. I know one uh, known as the Tormentor has tried to take me, saying I would make a great warrior for their legion. Say, uh, until I bashed the side of his skull in with a with a hammer. But uh. The only way that I've truly learned how to deal with them from everyone else is... You can take them out, you can kill them. But you also have to get the skull, or the soul, out of them and keep the soul safe. Because if not, they'll just come back. I see. Souls can be a very... Delicate. Thing to handle. Mm -hmm. Definitely didn't. I totally didn't threaten to eat their souls at a time. Totally not. You would never. Yeah, I would never. What do you mean? <laughs> God's sake. Me? Never. What? I said they didn't have a heart. So I'll just eat their soul. Mind you, this was after they harmed Rycroft, so... How, oh, uh, curious, indeed. Mm-hmm. But, I will be right back. Talk amongst yourselves. I need to get ice shards. <laughs> 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 Alright, Crow. Interesting little creature, that one. I told you it was the only way to describe Crow as Crow. Hmm. Crow um, <laughs> was very interesting to get to know, and I was very excited when he um, had the offer for me to live uh, with them. A while back. As my lord deemed it fit for me to explore my curiosities, he has remained back home. Rebuilding, one might say. <coughs> Have things been moving slowly? 
or in difficulty? Mm. There was a few remaining that let's just say were a bit of trouble but my lord made quick work of them all and the cauldron has gifted him something quite peculiar and something that when the tides began to shift I realized what was best for the court. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. So that is who you serve, this is Lord Lazarus, you call him. Mm. That is correct. I am a part of his circle. I've proved my usefulness in a variety of methods. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that you have. Opinion, Illyrian. What can you tell me of this realm? You have no answer. Speak freely, Q. Did he say? I did not hear him. Speak up, Illyrium, I cannot hear you. I did not catch what you said, Q. I don't think anyone did clearly. That's not my issue. And what is the issue, Kill? Just the way you are. And that is what you are. An Illyrian. Then I guess you're a fucking prick. Hmm. You never told Insult. him your name. He slurred. He never asked for it. Hmm. He does make a fair point. I did not ask him of his name. He asked everybody else's name. It just wasn't him. Hi, Varys. 
I'm mm. back. That's true. I... <sighs> ah, delightful. <laughs> what pleasant timing, Pro. I just needed to grab ice shards. Thurps is one that a lot of people like. Mm -hmm. Come on, where's the plate? Just bring me the verminide stuff, and then it's all set. But there's the th and the ring and the amulet. Oh, yep. Let me grab that. I should. There's a ring. Oh, nope. You said cleansing. Mm. Uh, there's an amulet of vigor. Let me make up the ring. Of, or wait, is that a ring of cleansing in there? Nope. That's blood. I believe blessings is cleansing, or do I have the two confused? Uh, blessings is the one that restores health every two seconds, whereas cleansing removes, uh, detrimental effects. Mm. Like, I think, I believe it cleanses corruption as well. I see. Apologies for my lack of knowledge of such things. Oh, no, don't. Don't apologize. So is it a cleansing or a blessing? A cleansing. If no. you would be ever so kind. Don't fucking tell me we're out of human arts. I swear to God. Out of what? Please tell me we have sets antidote. Nope, that's Demon's Bane. I should have grabbed some human arts when I was there. Hmm. Normally I'd be concerned, but I know what you're making.
may I offer up a couple other locations uh, for him, just in case? Of course. If for some reason you tend to um, <laughs> look for a lot of people who are, um, how do I put this, um, in need of healing, or if you're looking for a ton of people and let's say an expedition, as they like to say, happens, um, there is a place nearby here called the um, Healing Springs. It um, is near the North Aqueduct. Not to say that you would need a healer of any kind, but there tend to be quite a bit down in that direction. Um, another location, um, if you are interested in things like the Pale, um, that, uh, could also be located at a place called the Library. Um, that is located by, if you take a caravan to the, um, East Desert and go, um, east and a smidge north down a path, it shouldn't be that hard to miss. Hello, weirdling. Mm. Mm. The information you have provided is most appreciated. Mm -hmm. I would like to thank for information or introducing yourself to new individuals and the like. <clears throat> Perhaps, Lady Eliana, you might have to give me a personal tour at some point. Awake or dreaming? You decide. <laughs> Very well, then. I think awake this time. Hmm. Most satisfactory. I'm glad such is to your liking, Damascus. I may be retiring for the evening here soon, however. It's far earlier than my normal, but it has been a bit of a long day. Understood. Do rest well, and may your dreams be pleasant. They usually are even in times of war and strife. Do, 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 do. I remember. Yeah. Welcome back, Crow. Welcome. Wait, why am I saying welcome? <laughs> Don't want that. You're looking for trots. Wait, why are we talking about war? <laughs> Talking about war. Oh, I just heard the word war. Then I guess. No, entirely no. You have war on the brain. This will not be available. Mm, Guilty. No. Entirely mm. guilty of that one. This one, Shanna. Do you know where I can find them? I may have made promises to people, Dawn. I do not. What promise? Who did you make a promise to now? I didn't really. I there was a group of people there, and I said I'm going to make Tormentor into a set of armor and adorn those do that armor with it. And down. I promise, if anyone gets in my way, they'll become adornments Someone too. Someone unknown has left a very nasty mark. What? Oh, crow, 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 crow. 
Wetless cats. But they just don't have to get in my way. <laughs> it's that simple. I cannot see if they are right. Do you just want to hunt or do you want war too at this rate? Putting their name oh, I know. War can, behind war their can. words. Someone else it's can show with conviction. War. Okay. There you go. I was like, someone else can deal with war. I just Thank want God. torment. That's all that really matters. <laughs> and you know exactly why I want that one. A bin. Um. I can throw certain. Okay. Items, I no longer yes. necessary. Thank you. Let me unlock this. There is one that I am aware has received the mark. Apparently, many mm -hmm. have today. Ran away. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I can't hmm. say it. They ran away. Appreciated. No, no I this one I got. Those into scraps real quick. That was the case. <laughs> but alas, nightmares and dreams all upon me. Mm. Vermin I cannot stay for long. And bring back to awesome. Oh. Awesome. I can, I can aid you in that, Damascus. You will want to ask the caravan to take you to the, uh, the main city. Adventure forward. From there. Shall I review your machine? One side you'll see before I slumber. Great buildings just up a flight of stairs. If you'd like. Turn away from them and you should see a bridge. Head that way. You'll come across a number of bats. There are two no. you want. One if you do that's see this one, sure. At the base of no. the I'll let her know nest. the storm is brewing. And one yes. behind the nest and over the sand. It's much bigger. Otherwise I will see you up. They I should later. eventually give you what you're after. I've given you There's also like a skeleton that is a commander. Like if you just decide to kill everything there, like all over, if you find a Hanuman's Gata, I will take that as well. And that will be I've, like, I've got like three. Wonderful. I told him you he got didn't care. Three. I told you we fucking hid one. You don't ever listen to me, do you, Krill? You, you said one. I said I think we have one. I We've got like three. three. Literally. <laughs> Never listen. You speak up. I guess I'll just grab one from them. I will pay you, King, for that. Do right. you want to take a gift? <laughs> His little head poking out through the fucking... Oh, it's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, he can buy for flying lessons and a hammer. Up, it seems. Hmm? And I must be getting some rest. Same. Okay, it was nice seeing you. Don't be so sad, Curl. I'll come back tomorrow, okay? I'll have to start coming out more. I'm trying to get away from the tavern a bit more as I'm... yeah. Oh, great. Then you're coming with us to the summer domicile, then. Okay. Mm -hmm. I come as well? Yes. We can go out for games. I'll, I'll bring a certain friend with me. Obviously. Oh. <laughs> Since you will be attending the summer domicile for games at some point, I'll ask now so I know what to prepare for. Do any of you have a preference of tea? Um, I'm not going to say what just came to mind, because Don will probably squint at me again. <laughs> I will draw what worse than a smiley face on you right now. Do not tempt me. I don't. I don't mind any tea. I I drink a lot of herbal teas sometimes, mm -hmm. uh, cause shaman things. But that's the door. Totally wasn't gonna say blood. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's oh, a hard pain to the puncture the veil. And draw. Yep, there it is. Trouble crow. There it is. Draw thin. Yeah, I'm trying, mm -hmm. on. Yes. I also I had a question. Attack anyone or kill about anyone. About an anger. Yes. Possible anger. <laughs> I've received a few. 
Sorry, it is not my deck for the long loss to do. Good night, Don. Good night, Carl. No, I didn't think. I didn't think that at all. Good night. <laughs> Good night, hi, lady. <laughs> Farewell, everyone. <laughs> Bye, Fiona. You going to sleep too? Yes, I am going to sleep because I am a very EP bean right now. Mm -hmm. EP bean. Well. Hi, lady. You look like a woman Sleep. with wings. I don't know how you're a bean. Well. <laughs> I'm going back no to my comment. House. I'm going back to my house. That, that's Crow's house. But yeah, in regards to the heart oh. pain, I've had Orm. I've given him the requirements for it, and Orm is set about working on it. I have not reviewed what he's done, nor could I probably understand what he's done, anyways. Magical harpoon. <laughs> Do you think if I were to siphon magic into a crystal, could you use it as an ink? Mm, probably. <gasps> it would be an extraordinarily weak one, and to be honest, I think we have plenty of anchors to the, the dream, if I'm perfectly honest. Well, is your primary form of movement crouching? Around here, it, it, it is. It, it kind of is. Not fully though. Not <laughs> that was it. I will be honest though. There is a. I don't think magic would be a particular any stronger than like a, a strand of hair. Mm, I don't know. This one may or may not. Am I actually well, they would prefer to get magic than scales. I wasn't asking for scales. I said hair. And besides, I didn't tell Orm to target abstractions. I don't think he can wrap his brain around that. Hmm. Are you speaking of Zephyria? No, I'm speaking of Orm. Hmm. I was not speaking of Orm. Oh, Zeph. I'm speaking of Zephyria. Zephy? Zeph said that you'd asked for Christmas. I have asked him for a Did we put them? That's a bookcase. That's a bookcase. Are you licking Please it, Krell? Sorry. No, I'm not God, licking it. But yeah, maybe we go home? It's late. And you're always welcome to come by and review the machine. I did want to talk to you. There was a few others that wanted to work with you in regards to the spinning. I see. Yeah, Did you find others? Not spinners per se, but realm walkers. I'm not sure if they're any, the rippers are just walkers, but you know, either way, six or one. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. So. If they're realm walkers, they may understand the movement between the realms better than I. I mean. Since I stayed more in the material realm. Yeah. I guess it is time to go to bed. So <laughs> he's decided it is bedtime. Good night, y'all be safe. Good oh my night. god, what the fuck is happening to my brain? I don't know. You do seem to be struggling a bit. Yes, I am struggling right now. Just living my best life. Do you need someone to carry you to bed? Yep. Oh, I'm not going to sleep. Krell is... I'm just looking for something. Krell has goblin energy right now. Uh, Krell has goblin yes. energy. He doesn't always have goblin energy. No, but right now he definitely has. Right now he definitely has goblin energy. Right. I'm just looking for my potions of might, damn it. Good night, Krell. Good night, potions of might, you see. This man has lost everything. Thank you. Night. Night. <laughs> but yeah, I I think it would be I don't think Orm is designing the machine to target abstractions. So I think Probably that not. would make it more difficult. And I can manifest them, but I don't think ma like I said, magic is no more how do I say this? Uh, it is not any more of a greater sacrifice of oneself than a like, piece of hair. 
You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Unless you are giving up the ability to cast magic, in which case that's an entirely different thing. No, it is an excess like, in magic like that needs to be dispersed. Home I'm we just can let you down like go. Okay. No, well, I want to go to bed too, so this was a timed conversation. Ah. Hey, you have your timed conversation. No, I don't have. No, I'm like, I'm tired too, though. Um. <laughs> Night. You could have went with him, Poppy. I don't know. I probably should have, because honestly, I'm very tired. Mm, same. I will be it's going quite to bed late. after this conversation. But, like I said, it uh, the strength of the anchor, well, it's important. It's, you know, between what you and I will give, I'm sure we will have a strong enough anchor to the hitch. I still want to see about it. Negotiating with this smiling man. For what? What are you even trying to get? To use him as an anchor, <laughs> if nothing else. He is a powerful anchor, John Brown. Yes, but he's not going to give anything part of himself. Mm. Maybe I would just use the mask. That's not a part of him. That we know. It could be a regalia. For all I know. <sighs> if it is, then it is most definitely a part of him. I would rather not bring an unwilling anchor into the ritual and the magic. My bargains with him are all done. I don't seek to make any new ones or be involved in any. It is <laughs> most difficult to follow you in flying. Why do you say that? Uh, one moment here in one spot beside me, the next below me. Yeah. It is simply missing you in the eye. I suppose, yeah. I don't know, it's just... <laughs> I don't think targeting the hedge is going to be difficult for us as an anchor. Mm -hmm. I do not either. I do question if it is wise, though, for myself. Well, we're not going to the hedge. The anchors are not locations that we're going to. They're just points to draw the veil thin. I know. It is more curious whether or not thy keeper will recognize the ripple of my own magic. Oh, I doubt it. Just another gate spun by another spinner. They're everywhere. What would make this one special? Mm. You're probably right. She was never one to really keep track, for the most part. Yeah. She cared about her realm. She did not give desire to care for anyone else. It's the way most they are. But true. Honestly, I'm beginning to think that the mortal plane does something to us. Hmm, maybe. I don't know. There were two places in particular that 
she claimed in the mortal realm. <laughs> Both in the waters. The dragon's triangle, they called one. Mm. The other, the Bermuda Triangle. Mm. A place where ships disappeared into the night. Never to be seen, lest they pay homage to her. A fey ate in the water. Mm. Indeed. Alright, you're welcome to come in and look at the machine, but I think... But I do believe this is where I will leave you, Storm. It is, uh, I can show you where the machine is. You be aware there's still necrosis on the old machine. This way. Why is there necrosis? Because it was attacked by the pale. Oh, wonderful. This way. <laughs> Give me a second. Your place gives my head a break. To be fair, at least it all comes into view at one time, and then you don't have to worry about it anymore. Mm, this is true. May I ask, where did you get the spectacular? <laughs> Statues. These actually, you can pull them right out of the build box. Really? Yep. I have not seen either one of these. Yep, there's three, but those are the two I liked, so. Hmm. So he's begun work on it. I'm not 100% sure how he's coming along. impressive thing, isn't it? Yes. This feels more right. Yeah, listen, you can see the remains of my bullshit and not having any idea what I'm doing, and then you can see an actual engineer. <laughs> well, but... at least this one is a tool scattered everywhere. Shows me that they're actually working. <laughs> yeah, listen, this is my diagrams of trying to explain shit to people. I'm very technical. Um. Poppy, this. This looks like a child's drawing. What do you mean? It's the second time today somebody's called me a child. Uh, well, not so much you, just a drawing. Well, I, mean, I suppose it could be referred to you if you wish, but... Hmm. Well, I'm gonna go to bed, alright? You be safe. You're welcome to come, you're hmm. welcome to go, but I'm gonna go to bed. Fight? Right. That's well. <laughs> it opens now.
dead bird. <laughs> Oh no! I made a mistake. Uh, gross! I didn't mean to do that. Uh, oh, no. Listen, it was a mistake. Oh God, it's so heavy. What did you have in there? Oh my God! It is now not locked. You're like my level of hoarding. <laughs> I see that. One of these letters was mine. I have no idea which one. I think that's one it. Uh, yes. It's a custom order, but that presumes... A lot of weird shit, sir. Yeah. This is my level of hoarding. See, like, this is part of the issue, right? I need to put this in order. Because you apparently had four rings of repair. Surprisingly, not a lot of weapons in there. <laughs> I didn't steal your shit. I fucking picked up the box it was in. Okay? It was not the intention. on me one of these is me and one of these is you that's you that's not me why are we getting mail that's you it's me I don't know where that came from but it's yours now <laughs> yeah no that's that's fine I was trying to pick up the POI. Move the POI onto the floor. <laughs> the dead bird is missing a head. <laughs> I'm gonna move this like under the thing like she hid it. Like don't 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 worry about it. <laughs> We met the dead bird. Fucking perception robot. <laughs> Something's funny here. Yeah, 
Abby's like, she ate the bird head, and then she's like, hmm. Like, ah, look, a hoard. This is not the kind of stuff that Poppy hoards. Poppy hoards memories and such. Oh my god. It makes me giggle so bad. King's like, well, obviously nothing is amiss here, dead bird. <laughs> Obviously, nothing is amiss here. Alright. I think... I'll send you over to Chise. You guys all have a great evening. I'm tired. I'll see you tomorrow. I will be on late because I have other stuff going on, but... See you guys tomorrow. Bye.